Triple C and Joe Show. Okay. Oh. Everybody, welcome in. Hello, welcome to the Triple C and Joe Show. I'm Triple C, aka Creatively Created Crochet. Dana. I B J O E to the J O E. So, welcome in. I hope you guys are enjoying your night. And I'm so happy to be here. Everybody hit the thumbs up for those who are watching the thing. Thank you for so much. Those who are coming in, hit that thumbs up. Let me go ahead and get on the live chat. So I don't miss anybody's comments. Scarlett's the first hey, one. Hey, Scarlett, how you doing? Hello, Scarlett, how are you doing tonight? Welcome in, welcome in. Um, we got a couple birthdays. Well, before the clock strikes 12, we want to hey, say- Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Before the clock strikes 12, we want to- Big shout out to an awesome friend by the name of Lakeisha, aka Key. So happy birthday, Key. Welcome in. Um, if you see this replay, we want to just wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, if you do come in, you will be getting your song. And when the clock strikes 12, we'll be saying happy birthday to Mug Bangs and more, aka Zach. Hey, Latoya, welcome in. Latoya, say hey, babe. Hey, Latoya, how are you? Antoinette's here. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, how you doing? How have you been? It seems like it's been forever since you've been here. Terry Clark's here. Hey, Terry Clark, hey, all Terry the way from Clark. Wisconsin. I was trying to speak to Terry Clark. Say hi to Terry Clark, man. I'm sorry. Hey, Terry Clark. Everybody hit those thumbs up, guys. I'm Danny. This is my husband, Joe. I'm Triple C. This is Joe. J-O-E. Welcome to the Triple C and Joe Show, guys, where we'll be doing some crafting, some laughing, some praising and some preaching and some tutorials giveaways and lots of cooking and lots of love guys thank y'all for hitting a thumbs up coming on in answering it how are you doing angela's in the building it's been a while angela how are you doing i know we've been doing these late nights guys so it's kind of like everybody's like we can't do these all the time chauncey i need you to help me with these lighting oh sorry guys i'm trying to get this lighting set up She's trying to tear it up y'all y'all seen it okay let's see what everybody's saying carrie's in the building hey carrie hey carrie how, how you doing i know carrie was dealing with some uh migraine issues so we're gonna keep it up we're gonna keep you lifted up in prayer carrie thank y'all for the thumbs up they're slowly going up guys i finally got it going where's the chicken oh my goodness so where is the chicken babe more chicken we did get some chicken though guys look, look what we got chicken from mama's touch ate it Mama's touch ate the chicken. <laughs> hey, Christy. Christy's in the building. Hey, Christy. Welcome in. Joseph, you got to be very, very careful. You're yeah. doing some different things. I'm not sure what you're doing. Um, Mama's touch says, <laughs> Joe, why you locked us out? <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Hello. Chit chat. What are you doing? We appreciate you for being here, Patty. How you doing? Mama's touch is in the building. Hey, Mama's touch. You said I had us waiting on the bus. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Chit chat. What you doing? You're supposed to keep them people entertained until we got ready. This is a crazy ad. Oh, you watching a crazy ad? Thank you, Lana, for watching. Lana, for watching the ad. We appreciate you. Okay, so Antoinette says, been doing okay. Been a little under the weather. Hope you are all doing well. Oh, keep, well. keep you lifted up. Keep you lifted up in prayer. Yes, yes, yes. I know the seasons are crazy. Um, Our son's actually dealing with a lot of allergies. They're six-year-old. And um, we've been, like, trying to keep him, you know, with his medicines and everything. But the allergies, he's been sneezing, coughing, eyes watering, running. Horrible feeling. So we will definitely keep you lifted up in prayer. Prayer answer that because you're such a big supporter and we appreciate you so much. And Chit Chat Queen says, Had me pull out my poke chops. You did, you got, you pulled out those poke chops. Pulled out those I chops. love my poke chops. Love me some good poke chops right out of the pig. Right out of the pig. I like mine right fresh out of the pig. Hey, Shonda, welcome in. How are you doing? Yes, you're so welcome, Carrie. Everybody's coming in. You say, I'm laying down making washcloth. Also, Carrie, just laying down, relaxing. I'm so glad to hear that you are relaxing. Um, you know, I'm working on a headache because I know the pain is no good to deal with. So I'm glad that you are relaxing. And thank you for working on those dishcloths. I appreciate that. Well, you know, you're not making it for me, but thank you for it. You know, follow the tutorial. Hope it was easy to understand as well. Hey, Donna. Donna's in the building. How are you doing, Donna? How was work today? Donna's here, babe. Hey, Donna. <laughs> hey, Donna. Oh, look. Mama says, says, your lips are greasy from eating all the chicken. Mama says, that was Dana. Dana ate all the chicken, Mama says. I told her, I said, don't you eat no more of that chicken? Don't you eat it? Do I have coffee? Because I need to I need to drink I said, coffee don't you already. eat it? She be stealing just like you. Okay. Now I'm still. Don't tell nobody, but Mama says be stealing, y'all. Who she steals? Mama's steal touch? Mama's touch and chit chat and Dana. Oh, Shonda said she's having her bowl of buttery mashed potatoes. Oh, sounds so good, Shonda. Don't that sound good? Yes, it do. You better watch Mama's Touch of Chit Chat and Dana. Still on. Now I'm, now I'm, okay. So, okay. 
Thank y'all for hitting the thumbs up. Charlie's Angels. How's everybody doing tonight? Tell me something good. Any good news? Any praise reports? Um, how's your weather? What you eating? What you drinking? What do you guys do for the day? How was your weather? Did I say that already? Um, is anybody working on anything? I know, Carrie, you're working on some dishcloths. I know, Lana, you said you were doing some crafting over there at Crocheting as well. I'm not sure exactly what you're working on. She working on me. She working on me, my uh, poncho. Who is? Lana. Lana? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Lana, you're working on Joe poncho. That's good to know. Let's see. You said, I was feeding the family. You two took so long. Now we're cooking the pork chop plate. Good. Uh -huh. $10, $10 each. I heard someone at work today say, I'm full. And I thought, what's Joe doing on my work? <laughs> what's Joe doing on work? You're down and mm, You fool. He said, super easy. And I actually love the way it works. Uh, if you never thought to put the two stitches together, don't ask me why, but it would make a really great blanket too. Yes, I don't think about a blanket, ear warmers. Like I think all that would be beautiful. I love the texture of that. So I'm going to be doing some different things tonight. I'm, I've am i been working with this, co this um, cotton yarn, y'all. As y'all know, I got like 50 skeins of it, um, along with the rest that I had already. So I'm going to be doing a granny square bag tonight just to have some different things to go with it. You doing some work, baby? On live? You about to do some work on live, baby? Hey, Lana says, repent, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. Tell him to repent. You say, I have the next two days off. Going in, ooh, Donna, Donna, Donna. I hope you enjoy it. Um, my mother-in-law's birthday Friday. So we're having this. Oh, snap. I hope she's not in here. Too late now. Everybody ran in my mouth. Ruby ran back and ran her mouth already. Anyway. Okay, so she knows already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so never mind, guys. It was supposed to be a my surprise, surprise birthday. Surprise birthday. Woo! Surprise. A big 70th surprise birthday party, guys. Now, who didn't hit that thumbs up? I don't know. We got Which some... one of y'all didn't hit them thumbs? You want me to come over there and take your thumbs? You know what? I need to. I will take your thumbs and press that button. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Chicha Queen says we bought Dana some chicken tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Praise That's God. I get treated. I Praise get love, God. We hungry. Thank you, Patty. Patty says Dana didn't even get a bone yesterday. That was terrible. She was hang I was very hungry. Girl. Thank you, Patty. Patty understood my feelings. Who did that to Patty you? Patty saw me reach over my. Who did that to you, I girl? I reached over to grab the chicken. And did y'all see? If y'all watch the replay. Girl, who did that? I bit my tongue. If y'all watch the replay, I, I reached over to grab the chicken. That's because you were lying so hard. Look, look what Joe did. Just if y'all watch the replay, Joe did this. I'm like, ooh, I gotta, you know, I gotta keep myself composed on camera in front of everybody. But I, I reached over to grab the chicken. Y'all, she had her own piece of chicken one second later. If y'all go back and listen to the camera, she was devouring it in the camera. <laughs> I did devour, but I was looking for it. Sound like, like some hyenas that was getting ready to oh. eat up on the on the uh cow or something. I gotta say hi to everybody. So go back and look. No, no, the boss couple. Hey, Pam, Pam, hey, Pam. Pam. How are you doing, Pam? I cannot wait to see what you got going on. Chaos in Whitville. Pam, y'all don't if anybody doesn't know Pam, Pam is a super awesome family member of ours. We have been rocking with Pam forever. Me and Pam kind of started around the same time, y'all. And Pam is just amazing. So Pam, hope you drop your link so everybody can get to know you. Um, if they don't know you already, mostly everybody probably isn't your family. Okay, so Donna says, weather is too hot. Someone tell Satan to go back home. You know what? The weather is horribly hot, y'all. No, I think that's what got my gas rolling tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right. <laughs> y'all, when y'all got gas, get y'all some of these. Where do you have some gas X peels? It looks like you're low on them, baby. I'm low. I got one left in here. And I was saving this for uh emergency. And right now it's emergency. Ooh, ooh. Making dishcloths like Dana was like night. <laughs> so oh, so I you're was making saving this. Dishcloths like Dana was like night. So that's the kind of night you're having? Okay. Lana, you making Joe Poncho? He said, I'm working on a baby blanket. Just about finished. Ooh, Lana, you seem like you whipped that up quickly. Hello, Ruby. Welcome in. Hello, Triple C. And Joe took the bus over from Chit Chat. We appreciate you, Ruby, for hey, being Ruby, here. How are you? Welcome in. Do you have a channel? Let, let us know. If you do, we would love to support and subscribe to you because we're big on supporting, watching people, getting in people's lives, and kind of going crazy sometimes. But we definitely love supporting people. So thank you for coming in. We truly appreciate you. I'm Dana. As you know, this is Joe. It says, Joe might have passed the belt to Chit Chat. So behave. Oh, thank you Never so much. Never said beat him, girl. Wow. That's what I'm talking about, Manda. Pass that belt. And our beautiful grandmother Mimi's here. Did you have something you want to tell Mimi? What? What? Oh, thank you so much, Mimi, for the package. I'm sorry. I meant to be saying that. You, you just scolded me. What? Right? I don't care. Well, I, I said 
thank you from both of us. Mimi saw the video, but it's your turn because you weren't in the actual thank video. You, so Mimi. I need you, you to know come I, on. You know I love you, and I really appreciate the package. Thank you so much. I am going to be able to do a bunch of hooks with them hooks. Thank yes. you so much. And what about and the, me, the beating you're going to be doing And the beating that. and everything. You just scold me. Oh, we got a couple more thumbs, guys. Christy said, throw those thumbs up. He said, y'all have a great show. Y'all have a, okay, you have a doctor's appointment anymore? Okay, so we'll keep you prayed up, Manda. We love you so much. Yep, Let's know you. that we love you. We really do. You're so sweet. You're so awesome. So um, better, I'm burning up. I got to get some paperwork done. Once I get this paperwork and stuff done, guys, and everything comes back, I'm I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to wait. Just know we're going to be taking some different roads soon, a um, little higher roads. You guys are going to enjoy the channel a little bit more. You said, I love, I like your poncho. What yarn is that? Um, Angela, this Girl, is... Girl, that's Joe McLeod. That's yarn by Joe McLeod. This yarn, thank God for the thumbs up. They're slowly climbing. This yarn is shawl and a ball. And I want to say, what kind of yarn is this, babe? Is this like a, um, maje I don't know if it's a Majestic or Mirage. It's something. I cannot remember what it is, but it has a sparkle in it. And it's like, it looks like the stained glass look. Ooh, what's that face? Please hit the like button. Thank you mm. so much. Excuse me. Oh, Lord Jesus. It was a fire. He said you need a drink to keep up with him. Oh, I need to. I got I got to have it. Thank you, Carrie, for letting me do. I got my coffee freshly brewed. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer's here. How you doing? We've still been keeping you uplifted up in prayer. I'm so glad that you're able to join us tonight. Thank you for that thumbs up. And you said, I hope you are all well. We are doing really well tonight. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for asking. Okay, Patty says, I gave you a thumb. And finger jump. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I was, Joe. I thought she was a gentleman. Said, oh. Hey, I thought she was a gentleman. Sad. I am a gentleman. Mm. He said, I said that I said that Joe could keep his chicken and Dana could have the crabs and lobsters for her. So, okay, well, that's good. See? I did, you. Okay, you're right. He can have all the chicken because I need my crab and my lobster. I love my seafood. Joe just got me into eating a, a look. Yeah, I'm such a, that's too much info huh? about the gas and things. I'm so behind. Just a little gas. Ooh, I'm so behind, y'all. Forgive Mama me. Sucks. Let me go ahead and Now, get... you know you done pooted out some stuff in your life. And Donna said she got time smoothies. That's what I'm talking about. I need one. Donna, I need one. <laughs> she said she need she's gonna need it after eating that gas station sandwich. Because right now I'm gassy. Wow. Yes, I love those different sandwiches. I do I, I promise for a long time I used to go to the gas station and grab a what are those things I used to love? The hot pockets, the pepperoni hot pockets. Oh, I could eat one of those every day. Y'all, last time she went, she thought she she was about to get one and the microwave wasn't working. Ooh, it was funny. Uh, and guess what she tried to do, y'all? Heat it up on the heat. It was hot that day. I tried to put it right on the little heater, and it didn't work. It didn't get hot enough, y'all. So I had to wait till I got home. It just wasn't the same because I had my Slurpee. I wanted to have it all together, but it just didn't work. So Chrissy said she's went, she went to the dunes, and Chesterton Sunset was... What? How amazing, Chrissy. Chrissy, where are our mama? My mom just actually went to somewhere in Wisconsin for who? Who's you, in Wisconsin? Do that mean... That was Terry, right? So when you went to the dunes, you actually had to walk? Mm, right, son. No. <laughs> One word, Joe. Repent for them lies you tell telling, LOL. Then he might, he might was to get some poop spread. Oh, yeah, I might have to. You're right. I might have to get some. I'm so happy you liked it all. Yes, Mimi, we definitely loved it all. Hugs to you as well. Thank you so Very much. Very much so. Thank Mimi, you so, so much. Yes, be looking out as well. Your birthday's coming up. Like I said, for those who don't know Mimi, her channel is called Mimi Cat Do. Mimi, if you can please drop a link or somebody else can. I'm using Joe's phone again tonight because my phone is dead. Raggedy. Um, so Ain't dead, it's raggedy. If anybody can please drop her link. We're trying to get Mimi to 1,000 or past 1,000 by her birthday. I'm not even sure where Mimi is at right now. Mimi, where are you at? Did you make your 1,000 and I did not see yet? Because I haven't got a chance to. Um, but we want Mimi to get her birthday is July 13th, guys. So we're trying to get her there um, before her birthday or by her birthday. We want that to be one of her birthday gifts, one of her very many. She's very giving, very sweethearted, kind-hearted, loving, supportive. Like, seriously, if you have a channel just coming up, you're like, I need some watch hours. Guess what she'll do? She'll watch her. She, she'll, she will have multiple. She has a whole system in her house where it's like, okay, I got letters a through m here i got you know like she has a system she's that supportive seriously you said i want to get the baby blanket done so that i can move on the next project which is she lost wanna, all she wanna make my what's the name man no i need to do that shawl with you yeah, i know i need to do that shawl with you please when you get when you get started please let me know i really need to do that shawl i got a couple shawls i need to do i thought you was making my tassels next oh ruby says oh why okay you're welcome and thank you okay thank you chicken lips Chicken lips. Hey, Donna. Donna's here. She says, hey, Danny and Joe. Hey, Donna. How are you doing? So we got two Donnas in a building. 
Yes, and Donna's been a big supporter for a while now. Like basically kind of like since day one, I believe. I'm always supporting, always subscribing, and just showing love. And also, she was the winner of the pattern that um, Priscilla gave away from Distinctive Crochet. Awesome. Distinctive yes, yes, Crochet. Yes. And I got some more patterns coming out for every member who is a member, guys. Whatever level you on, be looking out. Some new perks are going to be coming in. I got to get all those perks out for everybody. Make sure you guys get your love. So I'm going to lay here and listen. Guys, Carrie, just lay there and listen. Relax. If you got to put some over your head or over your eyes and relax your spirit, just relax as much as possible. And you know, I'm very loud and I try not to be. Just very loud. Just turn your value down Talk a little bit. Too much. Big mouth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yarn nut. Yarn and crochet. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, Yarn nut. Wow, welcome in. I'm so happy to have you. I know, I believe this is your first time being in one of the lives, but you're in for a treat. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to be working on a granny square bag. Um, this guy's going to probably be working on some hooks or some crazy looks. <laughs> one of the two. But I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome in. Come on in and relax. We'll have different topics. We'll do our crafting and our chatting. And we'll definitely do a lot of laughing. So I appreciate you so much for being here. Yes, you said yes. We have two. You said hi, fam. Good to see you all. Spice Life's in the building. Hey, Spice. Spice Life, what's good? How are you, Spice? Welcome what's, in. What's good, Spice Life? What's good, Spice Life? We, we get Spice Life. Spice Life. Oh, my goodness. This is what happens when you're gassy. Spice this is the result of gas. This is the result of gas, guys. Man, I'm like, you dance like that, working that gas down. Everybody's showing love. Thank y'all so much. You say you're in southern Wisconsin as well. So, wow, we got a couple people that are in the Wisconsin, which is just a state above us. We're in Indiana. So, wow, how amazing. Or is it a caddy corner? Is Michigan right above us, and then Wisconsin's right next to Michigan. So, it's a caddy corner, right? And then, Mich like, Wisconsin is right above Illinois. Did I get that right? Mm -mm. You're supposed to be able to tell me these things. Everybody showing some love. We got Shelly T in the building. Hey, Shelly T. Welcome in. I, I'm so happy that you are here. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Um, I, you know, you're my girl. Shelly's my girl. Shelly's my girl, y'all. I'm going to take me a bathroom break. All right, guys. Please excuse him. Um, everybody showing love. You said, I appreciate all the prayers. I'm not having the best day today, but I will push through. Waiting on some results from the second D round. Of the okay. Yes, we'll keep you lifted up. I know about those certain days. Certain days you just... But like you said, pushing through, doing your best to push through. That's Sometimes it's harder to do that. Easier said than done, you know, but just try your best. You know, work hard. You can do this. So Mimi says she's at 945, y'all. So if you're not part of Mimi's family, guys, can we please get Mimi's link dropped where Mimi can be a, uh, have a 1,000 subscribers, guys. we got to get her there. I really know we can do this. Um, I'm really happy for her. She's so close, y'all. Nana's hands in the building. Nana's hands, what's going on? Hello, Nana's hands. We love you. Welcome in. How are you feeling tonight? Thank you for coming in. That thumbs up. Yo, um, I'm so glad that water. you're here. How are you doing tonight? And so Shelly says, I love the yarn you used on that poncho. Did you tell what kind you used? Well, Shelly, it is the um, it's a shawl in the ball. Not sure exactly which color it is. I don't have anything right now to look it up. I want to say it's like a mystical mirage or something like that. I don't know exactly what the name is. I like is the called. way you said mystical mirage. It's like a little mystical mystical some, mirage. It looks just like um I like that. it looks just like um stained glass and it has sparkle in it. And you might have that color, Shelly, because Shelly, you did get some great yarns. So you might have that one in your uh repertoire or your arsenal. Hey Michelle Chapin, welcome in. You said hi Danny and Joe. I never catch a live um like y'all like but I had to say hello. Oh, my goodness. Well, we appreciate you for coming in. Um, like you said, I'm Dana. This is Joe. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for the thumbs up. Mm. Thank you for coming in. This guy is suffering from a little bit of gas. So please just don't mind him right now. Um, he's trying to get it out by like, different ways. And a lot of it is doing with a lot of yawning. I don't know why. I think I might. Um... All right. So we got Mimi's link being dropped, guys. She's at 945. For everybody who does not have her, please, y'all, let's just make her day, guys. She's going to be having a beautiful birthday, July 13th. Let's make her day, guys. Let's make her day. She deserves it. She's super sweet, friendly, kind, and amazing, and you will love her, y'all. You will love her. She has really good discipline. Like, she's helping me to get disciplined um, because she's really sticking with at least two videos a day. Now, that's a lot of work, okay? That's a lot of work. So, she's working. I'm, I'm being a little disciplined. Last night, after I got off, I decided to record a video, and then I ended up uploading it today. And I have two other videos that I well, actually I have four videos that I have to do, but two of them are actually done that I just have to edit. So, um, but yes, I'm doing, I'm getting better guys. 
Okay, so I will let you know, Dana, when I start. Okay, yes, yes, yes. It's old Mimi, a fellow birthday in July. Yes. You said yours is the 26th. My daughter's is the 30th. July is a good month. Yes. My mother-in-law's is the third. Well, we got Zach. If Zach comes in, his birthday is gonna be the second. Oh, he has to do the he had to do the um the you know, what is that called? The excuse me. The little church excuse me. Um, so we know what that means. He's gonna have to exit for a bit. But um, yeah. Uh Zach's is the second. Me um my mother in law's is the third. Uh, my son's is, well, Linda's yarn barn is the 11th, my son's the 12th, Mimi's the 13th, and then um, Jennifer, uh, you said yours is the 26th, and your daughter's is the 30th, so yes, birthday songs will be coming, thank y'all for the love, thank you so much, Cheryl, for the love, you said, hi, Jennifer, your BDA is the 26th, Woo -hoo. so Cheryl is also the 26th as well, um, I'm super happy, you guys are, I'm loving it. You say hello, thanks so much, first timer. Yes, I'm so glad that you're here. Yes, okay. And Mama's touch is a 19. I got everybody's birthdays written down because I'm gonna get eventually be able to get me a birthday club going. That's my goal to get the birthday club going. He said Joe needs more coffee. Ooh, I think he has. He he had enough of something, y'all. My daughter brought this home. This is the perks of having a worker from Chick Fil A. Um, she ended up bringing back some, bringing home some goodies. Okay, everybody showing love about the birthdays. Okay, let me get past the, past the comments. Forgive me, guys, for being so behind. He said, just got my grandson bathing in bed. I need a shower now. Oh, I push mow the grass. What? Woo. <laughs> I'm playing next door. He had a busy day. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's amazing. Kind of got a little workout in. Um, that's the only thing when we do begin to own a home because we own a home, but um, we don't own it right now. Well, we own it, but we're going to be actually inheriting it. And so I'm not going to be ready for that part, but... Uh, hopefully our kids will come home and help us. <laughs> he said, Wisconsin is the north of Illinois. Yes, yeah, takes about 45 minutes. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Donna. All righty. Howdy. Hey, Sheila. Welcome in. I'm so happy to see that Sheila's here. Um, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been doing? What's going on over there? Everybody's showing some love. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, a lot of July babies. Yes, thank you for thumbs up for the host. Thank y'all. We missed out a couple thumbs, y'all. So Angel J, Pray and Crochet, love you all. Prayers, first time here. Okay, wow, okay. Thank you so much for the prayers, and we'll pray for you as well. And thank you for coming in. I'm Dana. My husband's name is Joe. He is currently in the restroom, eh? Um, but he will be out soon. Um, I'm going to be working on a crochet craft bag, and I'm going to be showing you the colors I'm going to be doing in just a small second. Let me get acquainted with everybody here. Hello, Tasha. How are you doing, sis? So glad that you're here. I hope you're feeling good today. hope you're having a great day. Um, we're just sitting there having a good time like always. Okay, you said metallic prism. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Donna. That is the that is the yarn. This is metallic prism. Thank you, Donna. I cannot remember what it's called. All right, guys, let's see what everybody's saying. You said, oh, bye, Joe. Yes, you watched the tutorial today. Thank you, Patty. Yes, I saw the comment. I didn't get to go back and um, you know, heart it yet. I gotta go back. I always I always have so much to do, guys. I used to have managers. I had my kids where they would go back and help me with the comments, and uh, just, I'm not gonna complain, but you know. Now I got to do it on my own now. Hello, Vivi. You said, good evening, everyone. How's everybody? Everybody went okay at the doctor. Wow, everything went okay. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you, God. I'm so happy to hear, have you here tonight. How are you feeling? And how is Mr. Joe doing tonight? Your granddaughter is July 11th. She'll be two. Oh, goodness. What a cute age. What a cute age. I know she's super spoiled. I know it, Donna. You don't have to tell me. Oh, I know. Miss Gumron. Oh, okay. Okay, so your dad, my dad, July 10th, the rest in heaven. Wow. Rest in heaven. There he blows. Oh my goodness, right? I need a chip play closer to me. Close is about 25 minutes away. Really? I don't know how far is. I think ours is probably about 15 minutes. Hey, babe. How far is our Chick fil A? About 15 minutes away. Um, there's going to be one actually moving closer than that. Um, but they had to slow down the uh, whatever, you know, the construction on it because of this situation or whatever. Um, you said, oh, you got this new home. Got, got you. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, like I said, it's going to be inherited. Um, it's the home that my mother-in-law bought years ago that they live in now. You know, and when she passes on, it will be inherited to us. She passed on to Joe, like, as soon as he hit 18, just like, okay, this is yours. So, you know, whatever happens, this is going to be your house. And so, um, when we, when you know, when that time comes, we'll go renovate it and get it all done up and all that good stuff. Nice three bedrooms, basement. Full backyard, full front yard. I mean, fenced in, really nice. 
Um, so today was okay. I'm starting to keto. Oh my goodness. All right. So is anybody else doing any ketos or anything healthy living? We're working on that guys. We're all trying to work on getting healthy. Um, we haven't really exactly started yet. I'm going to be honest, but we're going to get there because like tonight we had Chick-fil-A. So that's not really the best, but maybe next week after the birthday parties and stuff, um, we're going to get there guys. Help <laughs> pray for us. Okay. Y'all doing good. I'm so happy. So I hope, I hope you enjoy doing good. Yes. We're doing so good. Thank you Tasha for asking. Had a really good day. We have choir practice today, guys, and okay, you know, we're in choir practice. Joe's a, the, the praise team leader. Okay, thank you so much. Be back, Christy. Okay, so now we're all caught up on the comments. I'm so happy. Um, I got everybody's birthdays written down. But me and Joe, um, I mean, let's shop with the neck down a tad bit. I can't even see myself, Lord. Okay. But yes, so did you bring my, did you get my, okay, he got my hooks, because I'm like, I need to get some work done. Okay, he said, we got this. You need a team. Oh, thank you so much for the love. Yes. Work in progress. Yes, yes, yes. Ruby. So, what was I just saying, guys? Okay, let's see. I followed up my gas station sandwich with a carrot. Hmm, that's about a healthy... Okay, well, that's good. A carrot. That's good. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little carrot in the side. But um, he said, hey, Sheila Thompson, welcome in. Sheila, you've been coming in and hanging out. We definitely appreciate you for being here. How are you doing tonight? How are you? Excuse me, Lord Jesus, what's going on? Hey, Kelly, our beautiful niece Kelly's here. And yes, your uncle's in the restroom, eh? Let me see. I got an eye hook here. I'm probably try this eye hook. I'm going to be working on a granny square bag, guys, while we sit here and chat. Is anybody else working on anything tonight, y'all? Okay, let's see. Um, and you see, I've been doing, oh, we've been doing plant based eating. Cut out meat and dairy for the last few. Oh my goodness, for the last few weeks. I feel really good. Oh my goodness. Oh, me too. Me too. You really? Yep. I ain't no meat in at least 22 minutes. Ooh, wee. It just all came out. Oh, God. Praise God. Oh, no. Hey, y'all. How y'all been? Lord, good empty. Ooh. Praise God. You know me. Praise the Lord, everybody. Mm. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's see what everybody's saying. That's so great. Congratulations on that. On oh, you said eight pounds. Why did I say eighty? I'm sorry, but congratulations on the eight pounds. I'm so happy for you. How's our beautiful niece Kelly doing tonight? See how your camera do? See how your phone do? It wants to unfocus. Beautiful. You? It's beautiful. Hey you Kelly. Light hey color. Kelly, one of light up. So I just wanted to share you all really help me uplift me. I have lupus, so I taught myself to crochet to help with the stress of life during COVID. You all make every day a great day, even when it's bad. Ooh, wow, Jennifer. I mean, I appreciate those kind words, but you all really help us too. Like y'all don't know, like there's some days where we kind of get down. Like you know, when you have a full family and you have a huge schedule, the cars down. Um, and Listen. all kinds of things are going on and you kind of get discouraged a little bit, but everybody comes in, we talk, we chat, we can sing, we can laugh. I mean, we can craft and y'all really make our day as well. So thank you so much for those kind words, Jennifer. I truly appreciate that. So no spice, no meat. Mm, God's still working on me. Ooh, say that again, Tasha. I can't do it on me. But like I said, when I get started, I can do it. Um, but like I said, it, I, I can do it. I can probably do it a little bit. Yeah, About six too. months. He, you said you was going to try it once though. I tried it. I lasted 20 minutes. Oh, wait, what happened to your phone, man? It ain't anything. Mm, Lord Jesus. Uh, my phone be right. Look at yours. I went in there. That's why I, that's why I was like, man, letting it up was going to be a little... Yeah, hey, we can put the neck down a little bit because the neck is a little bit low. A little too high anyway. We can put the neck down a little bit. All right, guys. So we got the neck down. Okay, guys. We got the neck. We just put the neck down here. So we should be pretty good now. <laughs> so I said, really, Joe? Everything gonna come out okay? Oh Lord, everybody say everything come out okay? Yeah, I did real well. Mm. Don't go in there for about 35, 45, 55, 65, 85, 95 minutes. Joe, you spray the bathroom, wash your hands. I wash my hands. You didn't spray? Nah. He likes to torture sometimes, y'all. He don't spray them going there. He likes to smell that. He likes to torture. Don't tell them that. 
Don't tell these people that, that nonsense. <laughs> that's why he smiles. Look at that smile, though. That's like a really mischievous smile for you to... <laughs> like, that's really sad. Do y'all believe that? Like, that's really sad. He like a... Do y'all believe like that about me? Because I wouldn't do that to nobody. Look at the smile. Look at that look. I'm, oh, I'm laughing that because I can't believe that you would say that about me alive. See, that look is like Blair Underwood in every movie he ever played in. You know, I can't believe you would say that about me You know how Blair Underwood alive. is. Or like... Handsome man, but he does some really crazy I roles. can't believe you would say that about me. All right. Fantabulous. Hey, Kelly. Everybody show some love. I'm working on the bands they they use to they use along with the face mask if they don't want to last. Well, like those bands. Bands that make her dance. No. Oh, he needs some help. Sorry, Everybody bro. pray for this man. I'm I can't go meatless. I love bacon too much. Yeah, I love all meats. I can do it though. <laughs> Diamond said she's let rolling over there. I can do meats for a bit. I mean, no meat for a little bit, but I don't know if I can do it forever. But I have done it for six months, and it works beautifully. Oh man! I need it something did. to I need something to jumpstart me. Oh. So I think I will try the no beat meat. Oh yeah! I need a jumpstart, y'all. Because you need to try it. Just you. Anyways, I need a jumpstart. That's gonna help me. That is. Yes, Lord, you try it. Yes, he feels better now. Yeah, you're right about that, Shelly. He's like, "Where's the granny square back?" Okay, yes. Hey, sweet tea. Sweet tea, you come in like that. Hey, sweet, sweet tea. Sweet tea, we ain't got no granny square back. You know she don't work on this live. And I know you didn't I'm think she was going to work on it. Sweet tea, I know. I knew you didn't think she was going to have nothing done on No, I'm about to get some work done. How's she going to talk to y'all and do this, too? Because I can do it. Look, this is what I'm using, y'all. And it's going to be a tutorial. It's going to be a tutorial. So this is what I'm going to be doing right here. I'm using these three colors in um, my Premier Home. You know, I got the, the big old box of it. So I got to use this up. Um, for the craft fair. So this is going to be a granny square bag. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. 10 pounds lighter. Yes, Laura, Mama's touch. Not <laughs> like I went in there 25, 25, 35, 45 minutes. I feel about 35 pounds lighter, Mama touch. Exactly. I'm ready to dance now. I'm ready to dance now, Mama touch. Look. I'm feeling it, Mama touch. Look. Eh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. I'm feeling good now. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, Spice Blair Underwood. I'm ready. I'm ready now. <laughs> he said, I never would have imagined Joe knew the song Bands Make. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. Sometimes you got to pull him back because he got to get it right. What? It was in the title. Yes. It's in the title. Yeah, see? Sweet Tea says in the title. Where's the bag at? And that's what I'm going to be it's finishing. It's right here, Sweet Tea. By the end of the night. By the end of the night. Bag, by the end of the night, this one's going to be right here. Wow, that's messed up. See, you don't got no faith in me. I don't see. You got it, baby. You got it. Come Cute on. Cute thumbnail. Thank you so much, sweet tea. How are you doing tonight? We love you. How are you feeling tonight? You said, I can eat a meatless meal, but not every day. 24-7. I can't. Yes, I feel on that, Ruby. I've done it for six months. It came out really, really well, y'all. I'm telling you. Same here. I've done it, and it can't. And I, but I, Mama, touch, I've seen you cooking with all that fat back and pigs now. You can't go without no meat. Pigs now. I seen Mama's touch. She had them that pig snout inside them, them collard greens. Anyways, just ignore her. You know y'all gotta ignore her. You got to. He said, Joe, you better. What is this eight op before you push some somewhere out? <laughs> so y'all, oh Sharon's in the build. I didn't see Sharon coming. Hey Sharon, in. how you doing, Sharon Nichols? How are you doing? How you just say it like that though? Sharon Nichols. Hey, Sharon, how you doing tonight? Hi, Sharon Nichols. This guy just got the bathroom, Sharon, so he's really on a roll right now. Don't pay attention to him, y'all. Stop. Oh, you better stop <laughs> before you push some more out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. For real, Mama said, yes. So y'all missing some likes. Yes, we're missing some likes, y'all. Come on. Can we get a couple more thumbs up, guys? I already told y'all I'm going to take your thumbs if you don't push the like button. Thank you so much. Spice telling everybody, hit those thumbs. Thank y'all so much. We are doing so good, Sharon. Thank you so much for asking. Mm -hmm. I'm over here just working on some, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm over here working on some, um, what am I working on? Working on some. Hey, Kelly. Yes, Kelly's here. You can see. Hey, Kelly. How you doing, you know, Kelly? Kelly? So, what's everybody? Kelly, did you finish your poncho? I finished mine. You finished yours? Mm hmm Yeah, because I know, Kelly, you said you were doing your poncho. Mm -hmm. You said you were close. Did you get finished? Oh, okay. There we go. We got some messages. Okay, you said, Joe, I'm full. <laughs> Mama said you like that pig snap. 
And he said, thank you, Yarn Nut Yarn. Yes, for joining my pond. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody's joining each other's pond. Yes, for all the members. If you have that membership sign, you're always welcome to drop that link, guys. Drop your link so everybody can get to know you and be a part of the family. Man, I want to join your pond. I want to go swimming. You already part of Lana's pond. I want to go swimming though. And Mimi, everybody knows. So she ain't gonna let me go swimming in her pond. She let everybody else go swimming, but I can't go swimming in Canada. Yes, and Happy Canada Day is over. Canada Day is not over. Oh, yet. Canada! All right, well, Canada just ended, guys. Um, Mama says I'm full. Joe, we like hoghead cheese. I'm full. You don't want that? Full. Ooh, girl, I'm full. I just ate. Girl, like, don't even, don't even worry about it. you. Save that hog for no, your chair. It's yeah. not off subject. It's, it's not good. off subject, Shelly. You can talk about that. No problem. Did a double stranger party? No, I didn't do it. Shelly, you can talk about anything you want on this channel. That's what we do. We talk. Yes. So it except was... them, they talk. I don't talk too much. Lana, you said I'm a smirk. Well, I thought I was your friend, Lana. I can't come swimming in your party. You call me smirk. She said that she was smirk already. You don't know what smirk is. A moderator, you're blue. Oh, look at that. He only know what you think. I don't know. I'm gonna come to him in her pond in her house. Dude, how you know she got a pond? But, anyways, yes, I did not do a double strand, I just did a regular Shelly. I just did it a regular strand because I don't want to waste no yarn. Mama's testing with that. See, Mama's testing one always thinking about stealing. Told wow. you, Lana, you better watch it. She was still. She told me she would come in your back door. Mm -mm. Her and Chit Chat. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. So for this bag, guys, everybody's going to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing three granny squares to make a bag. And I will be doing a tutorial on that. Exactly how I'm going to be doing it. So I'm going to be starting it here with you all. And then the mm -hmm. tutorial will be up. I'm going to get it filmed after we leave here tonight, guys. So we'll see. You can see exactly what I'm doing. If anybody wants to work along with me, you're just going to start with the basic granny square. Oh, yeah. That's how we do. We make it a granny. And we're going to get our crafts on. While we chat and laugh this guy. You want a craft? You know how to do granny squares, baby. Let's do it together. Here's her craft bag. You can help me out because I need it for the craft fair. What about with my mom? See, I ain't open up his mom. Let's work together. Let's do He's it. with my mom. Come on, baby. Let's do something together. Come no, on. I'm not what you want, man? I'm not doing See how you do me? Okay, you said I have to add the SC around the top. Afterwards, don't do what? All right. Okay, Kelly. So happy to see that. I can't wait to see what it looks like. So are you happy with it? How do those colors come together? Well, we'll see the video, but. <laughs> Shelly said, don't you share some interesting things? Yes, he, he really does, Shelly. What are you talking about? Nothing. What do you mean interesting? Just interesting. Like what? I usually like to be more open with my, my family. Well, sometimes family doesn't want to be that open. Does y'all want him to be that open, y'all? Thank y'all for hitting the thumbs up. I see them slowly climbing up. Thank y'all so much. I think I should be more open with my family. This is my family, my crochet family. Oh, okay, there we go. Sis, uh, our beautiful, beautiful sweet tea sent us some pictures. I know I saw the notifications come up. The sweet tea. sweetest of the teas. Yes, yeah, she's the sweetest of the teas. The sweetest of the teas. Okay, and those are what, okay, so you double strand them. Oh, thank you so much for that. Okay, so everybody show some love. I'm thinking about getting some line, some like cotton to line it. I'm trying to get into that. Mama Linda says she's going to steal that. the crochet stuff. Mm, 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 Mama mm, says, now you're going to go steal it again. But, Lana says, no way. I am bigger and meaner and, and, a, and a woman. I heard that. Mama says, you better go steal the, the, the crochet no, stuff. No, she ain't going to steal. I can't wait. Mama says, I cannot wait. You are going to love the crochet and it's so fun. She better go steal. Yes, get them, Lana. Again. 10 pounds on some 10 rounds. 10 rounds on some 12 rounds on the other oh, okay all right so sweet crab spicy rose miss tina's here she says hi dana and joe i gave you a thumbs up already and watched the full commercial hello everyone else in the room i am so tired i'm just going to rest but let you all play thank you so much miss tina but uh, miss tina also um when are you going to be going live tomorrow guys i will be having to make it miss tina tomorrow. i got an idea ha ha I come up with an idea, Miss Tina. I know. I got to talk to Miss Tina. And then I got to talk to you about it. You going to like it, Miss Tina. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes Miss Tina. Because I came up with it. Joke, joke, did. Yeah. So, yes, Miss Tina, I got to message you. Me. Tomorrow's making meat, guys. I will be there tomorrow. Last week, it just didn't happen. Um, it was starting to mess around two, days, two weeks in a row. 
But tomorrow I'm going to make sure it happens. Um, I will be doing a making meat. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be creating a background. And I will be doing some crafting. I'll probably work on some sun hats. Something fun. You want to see me there? No. No, no, no. No, Mr. McGow there. It's just going to be me and us. We're going to work together. And crap. Unless you want to craft. If you want to craft with us, you can. Why well, can't be there? I'm... It's only for crafting. You're going to craft? He said, guys, I still remember most of my kickboxing moves. Oh, snaps. Lana remembers her kickboxing moves, so you got to be careful. Lana, I used to be a, I used to take karate too, Lana. Oh I'm telling you, tell her, baby, I used to take that stuff. Yeah, he did when he was about two or three. I did. I was older than two or three. Stop. Oh, yeah, it's four. It was four or five. I was older than four or five. Thank you. He was. I was seven or eight. Thank you. And I still, I, I will. You still remember your moves back then? I know that. I know my Nicarachi. All right, Ruby says, Triple C and Joe, love, love. How long have you been married? We've been married for eight years. Our anniversary was June, was June 23rd. And um... <laughs> we've been together, but we've been together 16 years. We've been together 16 years, married for eight years. Yes, yes. Woo. Thank Joe, you. you got these people thinking I steal. You do. No, I don't. She does not steal, y'all. She, she, she don't steal, y'all. Yeah, she do. She stole my yarn. She don't steal, y'all. Don't think Denny that. steal, too. Denny's here. Hey, Denny. She says, good evening slash morning. Denny been asleep, y'all. I'm firing her. Thank you, Lana, for, the, for letting everybody know. I'm about to fire Denny. Denny says, Joe, what had happened was. I'm, I'm firing Denny. So lovely to see you here this evening. I hope you all are well. Yes, I'm thank about you to so fire much. Denny. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That's what's about here. to happen. Throw Joe away, yes. Cracking up at Joe's jokes. Oh, Dana, he feels left out. Oh. See, Tasha? See, I'm going on Tasha's show next week. That's where I'm going. How you know they want you on there? Uh -huh. Sister Dora Beth is here. Hi, Sister Dora Beth. I'm going on Tasha's show next week. At least I can sit in the background. They won't let me on. At least I sit in the background. Lana, can I come on Sunday? Monday, she's also on Monday, too. Lana, can I come on Monday, too? Because I did eight years of kickboxing, Joe. Do you want to go around? Do you want to go around? Because you won't last longer than that. Ooh. Oh, all, right. all you got is one round. That's all you got. <laughs> Joe, I have a question a, a question on beading. My daughter is making a beaded belt and is using 20 millimeter cording. 20 m cording. But wants to know, is there a needle to make it easier? Oh, guess there is a needing a needle. There's a needle. It's a beading needle, and yeah. you can just weave it right on. It's kind of like how you. I don't know if you ever use a beading like it's like hair. hair. It's the same thing. Yeah, but it's really fine and small. Yeah. But I like to do mine by hand. Yeah, but if you're doing like a, if she's doing like a woven belt for like a little. Oh, little she's beads, doing like a little bit of yeah. You gotta have hand. like a little needle. It's like it, I have to show it to you. I don't got my bead stuff up here with me, guys. At all. Yes. But it's like a little bit thing. You stick the beads on there. It's like you use it. You can go to the hair store and get one too. No, but you need some itty bitty baby. That's not gonna be enough. You need a, it's like a little bitty. I don't know what it look like. I, baby, I it's not do the these. hair store, baby. It's not the hair store. Oh, she wants to. She's doing a little, little, little beads. Probably so. If you're doing a beaded belt, probably. You know what? I mean, you could do a beaded belt. It don't have to be little, little. I oh, know. I'm not sure if she is doing one. That's what I'm saying, baby. Okay, well, we have to wait to get the answer, baby. Thank you so much, Ru Ruby. Say, so, Joe. Yep, you forget. You figure out how to be your own. Ooh. Nope. I'm going to fight it then. Keep playing. Keep going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this is Doorbell. How are you feeling today? What you got going on? How are you and Mr. Lucky Pants? What is going on over there? I missed your live earlier. But then, did you ever go back? Did you go re-live again? I did not get to go to your back to your live. I, I missed it. I know you were talking about the booting and stuff. I saw a little booting going on. I didn't want to get, I got a little discouraged, but I don't know if you end up going back live again. I end up. Checking Lana, out Chit Chat Queens. Lana, you didn't answer my question. I said, can I come on with you this week? I'm getting kicked off the Triple C show. Oh, you had a bead loan? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what everybody was. Yeah, bro. She is using, let me see what she said. Okay. She's using different size beads, not, no, not tiny beads. Oh, oh okay. Well, baby, I didn't know, baby. You said it. Yeah. I said it. Yeah, you can, go to the, you can go to, it's a beater. You can yep. go to Brace Story. Hair braid store, the hair store and get them, or you can go to a craft store and get them. Mm -hmm. And you can put your beads on there in the order you want to, and just yes. slide them on down. Yes, and I think you could put up to like eight or nine of them, depending on like what size yep, you use. Like it's nice. Yeah, but it's nice. It's real easy to do. Mm -hmm. It but takes some stress just, out of it. I'm like kind of, I like to do it by hand. Though. Well, like, yeah, you like to do it by hand. But if you want to do, if she's doing a bunch of them and she's doing a long length, I can yeah, understand you. Yeah, the belts to go around the waist and stuff, baby. 
I, I'm talking here. Let let me let J O E do a little talking here because I'm trying to explain what's going well, go ahead, on. Go baby. I'm trying to say you well, you don't wear beaded belts, baby. So I'm trying to I do wear beaded belts. belts. Okay. Yes. Show us some of your beating projects, Joe. Oh yeah. See, everybody wants to see you do some beat. You talking about me not doing any work? Let's see you do some work, huh? Yo, I'm telling you, I don't feel like doing no work. Well, you need to get together and get some. I, stuff I don't. I did hooks last night. I don't feel like doing the work. You got the lazy stage. You don't want to talk to me? So yeah, I'm lazy. So how many lovely Yarny friends are here tonight? I got one set over here, though, Shep. No. Shep, uh, who's that? That's Short and sweet. That's that was Shelly. Shelly. Yeah. yeah, I got one set over here, Shelly. I don't have my stuff up here. It's all downstairs. Joe, have me that B set over here. I don't have no nothing up here, baby. What about what Mimi said? You can work on some stitch marker. Right? I, don't know. I, don't feel like, I don't feel like working on stitch marker. I, all that stuff downstairs. I think Joe took all, all my beads right? downstairs and put it up. The ones Mimi says right there. He said, was chatting and praising with OVW. Oh, wow, yes. He said, I'm still thinking about it. Joe and I will get back to you on Tuesday next week. <laughs> I thought we was good. Now you, now you kicking me off and we was real tight. You let these people on here talk you into not loving me no more. Ooh. <laughs> I asked Ms. Aldis. Ms. Aldis is going to let me. Ms. Aldis going to let you. I don't care what you say. I'm coming on. You go drop your link sooner or later. Oh, my goodness. He's full. Yes, they did. It is just one strike. GFBs go. Oh, or Tasha. I know Tasha going to let me on. Okay. Around the waist, yes, the waist beads. Okay, yeah, you can do a bit. You can get a beater and just whip it up in no time. Hey, Charlie B, welcome in. How are you doing Yo, tonight? Hand me mommy, hand me mommy beaded jewelry over here. He said, yes, yes, yes. Joe, yes, sir. You've been wearing your beaded belt. What? Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, Joe is on, Joe is full of something tonight. Ooh, say it again, Mama Such. Oh, I can go on Mama's Touch Sunday. Uh, uh, Mama Such, can I come on Sunday with you? Mama Such. You know we go way back like four flats on the Cadillac. Just, just, just say no. Just say no. Just say no to Mama's Touch. Y'all say, Tasha, can I come on? I could come on with y'all next weekend. Y'all won't let me in for a minute, just for a second. I got kicked off the Triple C show. I just <laughs> got kicked off. <laughs> it's, it's just fine. You've been saying they went. You did it. I'm going to beat this over here. Huh? I'm, I'm here, okay. Tasha says she's here. Okay, I'm glad you're here. He said, oh, I do see I'm Mama Sutch. Oh, oh, yeah, she's here. And, yes, I'm working on this granny square, guys. It's going to be lime green, gray, and black, Tasha said, I can come on right by. See? Huh? Nah, Tasha oh, said, I can come on. See? Nah. She said, come right by, though. She didn't say, come in. She said, come right by. But everybody's seen this one already, baby. Oh, they did? Well, I don't got nothing else right now. Well, just for those Everything who didn't see Everything is for those who didn't see here. Hold it up. So baby, you, you showed up. I'm the crafter. Dang. I got, my, I got a little wig in there, guys. I'm sorry. My wig got caught in there. A couple strands of wig in there. Ooh. Yeah, more than a couple strands. Let me start Why are you wig? just looking at my hair and stuff like that? Like I just like it's dirty or something. I said it's wig here. It ain't that wig, hair. that hair was clean when I bought it. See, uh, wow. Wig here. You don't see that? Wow. The finest wigs, though, baby. Yeah, the pack. Each pack I bought two packs. Each of them was fifteen dollars. See? Ignore him, y'all. You're trying to bust me it's out. It's the finest wigs. But look at this guy's gems. He did a great job on these guys. <laughs> Just, Joe needs a waist beat. Yes, he does. And what color yarn was your poncho made in? Um, the uh, one that I'm wearing right now is called um Who gave me that color? Was it who gave me the color, guys? Oh my goodness. What is this color called? It is called um I forgot. Does anybody remember what color this is called? Forgive me, I cannot remember. It's called, um, oh, I can't remember. Somebody told me the color and I cannot remember what it was called. You get what you get with Joe. Oh my goodness, yes you do. That yarn, I tried it looking at videos, but I just can't pick up. I guess I need hands on crocheting. Like, really? Ruby, you tried? Well, I don't know. Maybe you can slow the video down or something, Ruby, and then get it. Um, I got a couple of friends who've been trying on it, who have been doing it for a while. I got one friend who was watching one of my videos on a live and then I came in with her and then she started doing it. Now she's doing it on her own and she's really doing a great, great job. He said, no, sir, we need a new necklace you made. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Denny. I got one, Denny. I'm a, I'm, I got one. Yep, see? 
Tasha says, Dana, I have wig hair everywhere, too. See, that's what I'm talking right. about. Thank you. So I'm trying to get her to make some more, Tasha. Tell your friend to make her some more wigs. Um, Ruby, last morning. Oh, what happened? What happened, Ruby? I don't know. What's going on? Okay, let's see. Dana, I have a wig hair everywhere. I said, man. Prism. Oh, yeah, it was Metallic Prism. Yes, Mystical Mirage. Listen, Mystical Mirage. Thank you, Helen. How are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Metallic Prism. Okay. Oh, you did a live tutorial? Okay. Let's see. Okay, what's everybody going on? Okay. All right. So everybody's here. And I'm, I got my next color in, guys, as you see. I got the gray. Do y'all think I should do that? What do y'all think? I'm doing gray. I'm doing black and gray. And then I'm doing the green. Should I do the black, then the green, and then the gray? Wow, what happened? I don't know what's going on. Did Danny, your YouTube keeps flagging Ruby when she speaks or whole sentence and all cap. Oh, it's okay. No worries about it. If she she can talk in all caps, it's okay. If that's how she usually talks, I don't know. I usually talk in all caps when I go to Miss Tina's and you know what I'm saying. Man. But if it's if it's a big thing, then no problems. I don't want any problems with anybody. It's okay. It's all right, y'all. We are family. Yeah, I just want Come everybody on. to be hey, here. I got all my sisters with me. Come on. Okay, so black, gray, then green. Okay, cool. Okay, Shakita, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. That's what I'm going to do then. Because I already got it started. Right? We was about to dance and you stopped the dance movement. I just... wasn't even dancing, but you just wrapped your arm around me. I wasn't showing them the arm. Come on and wrap your arm. So they can see what I'm doing. Okay, so sorry, baby. He's fine. Sorry, I, I got the that. black. I got the gray. I'm thinking about maybe doing a couple rolls of each. That's what I'm thinking. I'm doing tonight, guys. I'm going to do a couple rolls of each. Oh, a white for the Raider colors. Yes, I'm doing like a little. I'm doing like a little granny bag. So I just want to kind of do a little spring colors. Cause I, I don't really have much white. So I got what the Dollar Tree had at the time and ordered it. Cheap. Yeah, that's all. Well, I needed some. I needed some cotton yarn. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm doing like I'm having a little fun. Thank you, Lana. I know my eyes is pretty. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? That is gonna look pretty. Thank you so Lana much. Lana said my eyes is going is very pretty. She did. Yeah, she's just saying. She <laughs> loved those colors. My eyes are pretty. How many rounds for each square? I'm going to check. I'm thinking of probably about ten rounds, ten to twelve rounds, and then see how that's gonna look. He said, I don't want you two to be upset with Ruby, that's all. Oh, okay, Ruby. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fine. I usually, well, it's been a couple times I've done that in a couple of lives. No one's said anything. The Lord willing, everything will be good. See, Mama says, stealing again. Look at that. It made me come steal the waist beads. Mama's touch is stealing. I knew that. Yeah, cause a lot of the, the different rules, like, oh, you can't talk in all caps. You can't type out numbers. And I've, I've been kind of doing a lot for different people that don't mind it, and they haven't been getting any issues. Her. Trying to break rules. No, yeah. I'm not breaking rules, but if, the, break if rules. the host doesn't care, I don't, it doesn't really happen. You're trying to break rules. It's like, don't, Joe, don't make me, Joe, don't make me come steal the waist bead. Mama says stealing again. Okay, well, make some stuff on the cricket, Chiquita. I'm so happy that you're here. What kind of stuff are you making over there? Lana said I look handsome again tonight. Uh-uh. Thank you, Lana. She says you look a little yellow tonight. Thank you feel all right? I do. It's this shirt. Thank you, Lana. You do look a little yellow. Thank you. It's just a shirt, y'all. It's, it's this awesome phone he has. He's talking about my phone. Just a little. Just that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm making I'm making a uh, granny square bag. You remember what what's name said last night? Who was that? Who said that? Was that Carrie? <laughs> Carrie. Yeah. That was Carrie, wasn't it? Hey, sure was. Carrie. Sexy people. Oh, my goodness. And guess who the sexy people is? Denny. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, with no break. Okay, so they were banning people. Denny. Guess who sexy people is? Lana, guess who sexy people is? Tasha, guess who sexy people is? It's me. Eyes, sexy people. Let's see, he's back up. Oh my goodness, yes, he is back up. Mama touch, eyes, sexy people. I wonder if I should do smaller size, guys. I know some people said they doubled it up, and then some people... I don't know if I can crochet with that yarn. Now you got me want to see if I can crochet with that yarn. I'm wondering if I should do a smaller hook. I did an eye hook, because oh. I wanted to kind of use something a little bit... I think I'm going to stick with this for the sides. Yes, we're all... Thank you so much. The sexy people is sitting right beside you. Oh, thank, thank you. you, Lana. Thank you, Lana. I know I'm sexy. 
What the hell do you got, man? man? Oh, six millimeter? Six millimeter. What you about to do? You about to try to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, oh now I can get Joe to crochet with me. I gotta lift this down. I'm just like, I got this thing all the way up. It's so hard. I can always scoot it back a little bit. What's that, H you using or what? But everybody can see. There we go. I feel like H? I'm using an I. 5.5 or 5.25. Good boy. They use an H. That might be better. I think I should. Because I'm doing a tutorial, so I gotta figure out which one I like better. I might. I should have just did it with an H hook. Sometimes the H hook with the cotton, y'all. Have you ever noticed sometimes with the H hook and the cotton, it um it's really hard to um work with. It wants to shred on you. Yeah, I was gonna send out my hooks today, but that that uh, glaze I don't like it. I got some else I'm coming, so that's the reason why I didn't send them out today. I got some other glaze coming because this stuff sucks and I don't like it. And I found some better, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be coming soon. And that's when I'm gonna send out my hooks, y'all. I don't want to send y'all no hooks with this stuff on. This stuff is terrible. Look, even feel like with that. What's the name on there? With that, that mm -hmm. should, he shouldn't feel that. Nope, it's not good, strong enough. Hey, E. Johnson, E. Johnson says hello all. Hope you had a blessed and wonderful first day of July. I have to get up early in the morning, but I saw that you were on, so just wanted to stop by and show my support. Thank you so much, E. Johnson. Thank you for coming in. That thumbs up. I hope you had a great day as well. We sure did. Um, we had prior practice today. We had a little fun with our. We got to visit our moms, have some time with them, and. It was awesome. Thank you so much for showing your love. I'm over here working on this bag, trying to see how, how I want to do it. It's basically a trial and error because this will be a tutorial. So um, this bag is going to, I'm going to see exactly how I want to do it. Y'all not sexy people. I am. Y'all better get your own name because I'm sexy people. I don't know what type of name y'all got. Hi, Noni. Hey, how you doing, Noni? Welcome in. How you doing today? Hey, kids. We got bad storms here. My internet has been down for three hours. It's flashing on and off. Coming in to say hi while I can. Hi, Noni. How you yes, doing? We love you, Noni. My favorite side chick. Thank you so much for coming in and showing some love. We appreciate you. Um, this is a boy hook I'm using, Lana. And the you know how boy when first boys first came out, they were 5.5 for eye size hooks. And now the newer ones, they went to 5.25. So I'm using a 5.25. So this is not extremely um bigger than an H, which is a five millimeter. But like I said, if I line it, it won't be bad. So I'm thinking I'll just keep doing this and lining it. I'm gonna do two rows of each. And we'll see how much we got so far. So far, this is the fourth row. And let's see what everybody's saying. Yvonne made it. Hey Yvonne, how are you doing? I'm so glad you got to make it. How are you feeling over there? Just working on a granny square bag to try to get some uh tutorials done. I'm gonna get this done and um I'll have a tutorial filmed up tonight. That's what my goal is to do. Every night when I get done with this, guys, I'm going to try my best to try to work on some tutorials at the end of the night. That's going to be my new goal. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. It's a Joe who finds a wife, finds a good thing, and takes faith from the Lord. Yes. Yes, you saw me with a pot. Yes, Yvonne, I was very surprised on that. I was like, what? <laughs> and so that I'm definitely going to be paying it forward because I like that. I'm like, I'm like, I was so surprised, y'all. I was like, what? I want a prize today. God is good. Let's see. You're talking from uh, Black Ribbon Studios, right? You want you want one of these, baby? You want to try some yellow or something to see if you can crochet with it? Yeah. Try these yellow? Let's I'm see. Started, bro. Okay, I'll get it. Hold on a second. So you're just watching the bad weather because like, you live in a mobile home, you know, in Tornado Valley. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, that... um. That tornado area is horrible. We'll keep you lifted up in prayer. Yeah, I do. It's like, it's like, I've got to start it. Oh, like a sack. Oh, like a sack. That sounds cute, Chiquita. So I got it like this. Just show me. Tell me how to do it. Okay. I can't see. I can't see your hands. Oh. Okay. You got a short one in the front? Yeah. Turn it, twist it around the back and grab it with your right hand. Twist it around, the, twist it around the back and grab it with your right hand. What? Twist it around your back and grab it with your right hand. Twist it around the back. Oh, grab it with your right hand. Okay. Wrap this around the front. Wrap the long hand. The long string around the front. Like this? Yep, and pull it through. Let's see what everybody's saying. Okay, I would love to check out the tutorial out. I have five boy hooks like that now, and they are nice on your hand to work with. Yes, I love these ergonomic hooks, y'all. Uh, and last night I was using a hook that Joe made, one of the ones he's been working on, and it's been really comfortable, and now I can't even find it. I don't know what I deal with that. Mm, everybody just showing some love. Okay, getting ready to go to bed. Yes, Black Studio. Oh, yes. 
Yes, she is so cute. Thank you so much. Well, we love you, Yvonne. If you got to get some sleep, rest, rest. Get some good rest. We love you. Sleep tight like the bed bugs. Right? It's really hot in here, and I don't know why. It is, Joe. Turn, um, Joe, turn the air down a little bit. Turn, Joe. Turn the air down. You doing a granny square, honey? Yeah. Okay. I know, uh, Danny, I've been busy all day long, like really, really busy. Mm -hmm. I'm planning for a party for my mom. I had choir rehearsal today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been really busy. I had to do some studying uh, to get my lesson, get our lesson ready for Sunday. We're just going over it a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, I, I I got a little lesson to, together for tonight as well. Yeah, getting the songs done for us. And getting the songs ready for the praise team on Sunday. So yeah, I had a bunch of stuff to do, so I didn't have I I, I didn't mess it before that reason. You said you got tattooed a whole sleeve. You said you got a tattoo yesterday, a whole sleeve. What? What kind of tattoo? You said it's got real. Okay, God bless you. God bless you as well, Yvonne. Uh, don't miss anybody else. No, I don't think you did, baby. Okay, that's good. Everybody's showing love. What Sunday's lesson gonna be? Oh, what Sunday? We gotta figure out what it's gonna be. Because we started looking up some different ones and different scriptures that we wanted to kind of. Let me see your phone. I got your phone. Is it charged up? No, no, I might be your phone. Cause I know you start typing up stuff, but I didn't know if you. Uh, what's going on? Oh, it's not charging. No, it ain't even there. Oops. Oh, that's nice. That's why I'm locking in there. That thing just comes right out. So we we'll, gotta get it charged up. Yeah, get our phone charged. Let Joseph up. come here. I can't knock that over. So knock everything. Let's see that. Okay, I can't do nothing. I'm trying to get it without trying to do it, but it's all tangled up. Okay. Let's see. Crave a Crave Crochet sounds like you had a busy day today. So I guess you didn't have time to do a changeover shawl fashion show. A little changeover fashion opening show? No, I didn't. What's a, what's a changeover fashion opening show? I never did a changeover fashion, fashion, fashion show for the changeover. I never did one of those. Okay. Thank you so much, Jenny. You're emailing me a picture. Thank you. All right, let's see. Okay, I got this all ready for you, huh? So Joe's going to be working on his. Did he turn the air down? You turn the air down? Yeah. I don't know. It's super hot in here, guys. It got real hot. Lord Jesus. Okay. Chit Chat, where you been, Chit Chat? Chit Chat was eating poke chops. Chit Chat using those poke chops. Okay, here you go, babe. You remember how to do it now? No. You got to do six here. Six in the corner. I can do a regular one. Turn two and then do your three. Like so. Okay. And then you're gonna chain your one and do six in the next corner. Chain your one and do six in the next corner. You gotta do three, chain two, three. Oh. So okay, everybody showing love. Yes, welcome back in. What about what are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure what a changeover is. I never heard the changeover um poncho. What is it? The fashion you show? You're chain two here? I changed one there. That's your middle one. And now you're going to the corner. Oh, the middle one right here. That's your that's your corner, baby. All right. You change one for your future your future middle one. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna go right in there. Okay, make sure you got enough yarn. Okay, you do. Yeah, because I don't need to. So you wanna screw over a little bit so everybody can see crack? No. All right. Yeah, I can. Okay, I, I, I don't I'm gonna work with this yarn further. You said I don't I would have the tattoos for you wasn't good. Oh, that was for Joe. He doesn't have the shawl on tonight. Oh, that's what we're talking about. The changeover. We didn't have time for that. Yeah. What about the changeover, huh? That you were doing? What changeover? When you put my poncho on. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't, tonight, I was decided I was, you know, let you go ahead and do that tonight, you know. Oh, my goodness. Yes, the Chit Chat Queen. Yes, Atlanta was giving Joe a hard time. Hey, how you Always doing? Always giving me a hard time. I, I, every time I go somewhere, I be good. I never do nothing. And that Chit Chat Queen and that Mama's Touch. And Denny give me a hard time. Mm -hmm. How you doing, brother Anthony Carver? How What's are you going doing? On? What's going on, Anthony? Welcome in. How you doing? Thank you so much. He says, do y'all thank all love, all love and support. Thank you so much for love and support. Thank you for the thumbs up as well. So we're we chain two here again. Um, we're gonna you got three done, and then you're gonna chain two. Yes. He said, like, well, do you know? I have to spill the beans. This tattoo did not hurt. My tattoo artist, I was was 17 years old. Oh my goodness, poor Joe. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be anything hard because I know you 
I, I knew it would have to be something fun. Like when I said I got my tattoo and everybody was like, what? I said I got my first tat and everybody was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I figured it wasn't going to be anything like that, Danny. She had to eat up all the pork chops. Now she back talking to people again. Lord, I tell you. Poor Joe. He said, put a poncho on. Remember, you are sexy people. <laughs> Remember that? I know it was I'm sexy people. Okay, so I got this. I knew that. Got these done. I'm on to the next row, guys. I'm on to row five. So we're gonna see how it comes out. It looks so weird to me when it's little like this. Well, you know, I did I did have the, I did double crochet. So let me take this down and you start over. No, I quit now. Okay. No, I'll do it in a minute. I mean I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll read them. I never did that one. No, no, I didn't I don't do okay, this. Forever. Just do it, start over, man. That's all I was saying, baby. I was just saying you say you say you do a little bit in a minute. No, oh, I'm going to do it now. Get past that little bitty word. You don't like that little bitty stuff. That little bitty stuff scared me. Hey, sis Rachel Joe Walker, how are you doing? Hey, sis Rachel Joe Walker. Dang, that didn't come out good, did it? Mm -mm. I'm working on a granny square bag to get some stuff done. Chit chat. Chit chat. You ate those poke chops, didn't you? Now you coming back, you fool. You got grease on your lips. And you, you ready to talk now, aren't you? Lana, I ain't doing no, no half doubles. Yes, you are doing I mean, half double. Double? Yeah, I'm doing half double. Yeah, he's doing half double, y'all. He loves his half double. Let me see. Lori says, wow, what's that couple gushing with greatness? Hey, Dan and Joe. Hey, hey how Lori, you doing? how you doing, Lori? I'm over here burning up, y'all. I, I'm having like, a straight up hot Joe, flash. I need to fan oh, on. Fan up, man. Just fan Woo, up. I think you, I drank the coffee, y'all. No, dang, it, it ain't, it, something ain't working right. Yeah, something ain't something right. Ain't right. Something ain't working something, right. Something, something, just. Then the minute right. you gonna smell hogs and stuff cooking. How they gonna smell, man? Huh? Smell a vision. Lord, it's hot. I done got hot, Lord. Ooh, Jesus. I don't know what happened. I just start. Lord with... have mercy. Okay, let me hurry and get him through this, y'all, because he wants to do. He wants to help me with making some crafting, some. And then y'all can see Joe crochet for those who never got to see him crochet. Y'all can see this man cry. Oh, Lord, that feels amazing. Lord, that, Lord, he caught it up. Oh, Jesus. He sorted up. Oh, shit. All right, y'all. Thank you, guys. That was Jesus right oh, there. Yes, it was. Brought out the tongues in me. All right. Okay, so you done now? You want me to do more? No, that's good. Okay. I'm going to change it three, and then you can just go ahead and do it. It's hard work with this yarn. It's like hard. It's a tough yarn. It's a cotton yarn, baby. So I'm supposed to hold it more tighter than normal? You can hold Yes, you can. It's real weird. Like, there you go. Baby. I ain't never did this, y'all. This is weird to me. He's never worked with cotton yarn, so he doesn't know. Okay, yes. Yes, that's what he's doing. He's doing a half doubles. You say, my feet hurt? Oh, rest on feet. Who's Donna? dog's hurting? Donna's feet are hurting. And barking. Donna, your dog's barking. Donna, you got to get Ruff, like Scooby-Doo. You got to get them dogs rested. I mean, them feet rested. Oh, you got me talking about dogs. Talking about them dogs. You said I was not able to, I was not able to tag you on Instagram, but you'll get the picture when you see it. Uh, oh, you tagged me earlier. I know you tagged me on your sweater. I don't know what, I mean, your top is you made. I didn't get to see your, um, I don't know why you couldn't tag me again. I don't know. Let's see what everybody's saying. You said, guys, what's your IG page name? Oh, it's creatively created crochet. It just, yes, that was Sister Rachel Joe Walker. It's just creative with creative crochet. It's nothing but um, just crochet stuff on there. Let's see. Chloe wanted to give me a tattoo today. I said, okay, sounds good. Her Crayola markers weren't worth <laughs> four cents. Lord. <laughs> That's Denny. Yes, yes. When yes. Denny said about the tattoo, I already knew Denny was talking about writing. I already knew it was something funny. Oh, you're talking about the tattoo? You're going to tag me in that? Oh, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see your sleeve. You still got it on? <laughs> Joe about to pass out. Oh, my God. It was so hot, y'all. Coffee will cause you hot flashes, but you're too young for it. Lord, Lori, that heat. I don't know what happened. I always have my coffee every night. I don't even know where it's at right now. She didn't take it and stole it again. Uh, but, ooh, I got hot. I couldn't even breathe. I was like, ooh, y'all see me? I barely could talk. I'm like, Lord. You seen that? Mm -mm. So I had Chloe use some Sharpies. Oh, Lord. You let her use Sharpies, Danny? Oh, my God. 
Ah, he said, thanks for adding me to the Facebook group. Oh, the Utah Fire Group. Yes, you're welcome. Who said that? That was his racial Joe Walker. Oh, yeah, the, you're fine. Look, <laughs> Donna said, they barking. She said, I walked five miles at work today. It was a slow day. Ooh. Wow. Yes, everybody been doing their walk in. <laughs> I ain't I, walked five miles in my life. Yes, she has. <laughs> Not even <laughs> in my whole entire life. Yes, she has. You used to do that when you used to do the steps. I don't know. I'm just talking crap. Um, what was I about to say? The most I ever walked in a day, 12 miles? Right, son. 12 miles, I'm saying. This yarn ain't no joke right here. Mm -hmm. This is different. Oof, weird. The cotton yarn is different. That one's even thicker than this one. This yarn is not as bad as that it, one is. It, it's thicker? Mm hmm. So let me change two right here. Oh, the granny squares. I'm doing the granny square bag. Lori, so I'm going to be doing three granny squares to create a bag. So that's what I'm doing. I need to chain two right here, right? And Joe is working with some cotton. He's never used cotton before. Yep, you chain two. And then do your, um, doing three of them in there again. Yeah, Joe's making, just having some fun with some cotton yarn. He's never used it before. So he's going to try it out. And I'm doing, this is the color I decided to do the bag in, guys. Oh, I put two instead of three, Lori. So I usually average about 12,000 steps during a ship. That's awesome. He said, I, I did, did I miss your singing? I was like, oh, no. Hey, Diana, welcome in. No, you didn't miss the singing. I retired. Welcome in. How are you doing? He said, Rachel, my thought was this baby is going to be seven for so long. Lord, this is not for my forte. Yeah, the kind of stuff, babe. So don't worry about the kind of. Lord, I can't get in. It's like. Ribbling up and stitching up, and breaking in threes. And... So, man, what? okay, so that's three, right? I mean, that's two, right? That's chain three or that chain three? Uh, three. That's three, so I didn't take one there. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I'm struggling like that. Mm -hmm. He said, This baby's going to be seven for so long. I want her to be, I want to let her be hurt and have fun with her. That's awesome, yeah. Our son is going to be seven on July 12th, so. Yeah, so how are you doing, Diana? Welcome in. for com Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. We truly appreciate you. Oh, that's a great scrap buster. Yes, it is. I love it. What pattern are you using for the back? I I'm making up a pattern. This is going to be something I'm going to do a tutorial on. So I'm kind of just doing a little trial and error right now. So I can have it to do a tutorial. I'm trying to get back into doing little tutorials. And I'm going to get some more intermediate ones. But until I have the time, I don't really have a lot of time to do the intermediates. I do. This phone actually has a lot more space on it. But I don't have the time to make something really crazy intermediate because I got stuff for a craft here. So I said everything that I'm using with this oh, cotton. Okay, so right here. I'm going on here now. Everything that I'm making with this cotton for this craft here, I'm going to do tutorials on it. I'm going right here. Yeah. Okay. This is hard for me to see what this stuff is going on. I think I'm overthinking it, man. Yeah. You guys were praying for Noni Mae's family. Yes, we are. He said, are you going to line it? Yes, I'm going to line it, Lori. Hello, how you doing, Holy Spirit Firefall? Welcome in. How are you doing? Holy Spirit Firefall says hello. Hey, Holy Spirit Firefall. How are you doing? Cass is in the building. Hey, Cass, how you doing? He said, I missed you yesterday. Oh, yes. I, I know, and I miss and I miss Mary yesterday. I feel so sad. It's usually when I get off, Mary's still on, so I go over there and hang out with her. And I missed her. He said, Miss Dana, it took all of 30 seconds to take off the whole tattoo. Oh, granted, I have a little stain, and because... Sharpies are good markers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so what colors were your tattoo, Denny? What kind of colors did you have? I'm working on this um, granny square bag for anybody who's wondering. I'm going to try to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. Great. But I definitely want to line it like Lori was asking. So, so far I have my gray, my black, and mm -hmm. my my gray, black, and my lime green. You think it's going to be good? What do you think? I like that. You like it? Great. Yeah, I wish I could see it, but I don't like how this is. I got to I can't even be comfortable. Let me get that chance. I need some pillows for my back is like hurting badly. You hear me, Justin? All right. Can you give me some pillows? My back is hurting really bad trying to lean up for these things. I just hurt my back. Want me face? I need you to give me some pillows, please. 
You said, I like your crochet shirt, watching you crochet. Those granny squares can talk at the same time without even looking down. Oh, thank you so much. So you getting down. Thank you, E. Johnson. And get everybody that's a fear. Are y'all excited? I wish you would put them back here for me. I'm in a, talking to everybody. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get them. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I got you. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm going to shirt. Sorry. Okay, let's see. We first struggle with this young. Okay, yes, you love that song, yes. He said, Lord have mercy, that baby head had me go up and down her stairs today at least four times as they live on the third floor. Oh, what? And then they live on the fourth floor. Wow, really? Oh, my goodness, you sound fun. Yes, you love this song? Yes, Nana says that she loves that song. <laughs> Diana said, let me guess, Chloe, you talking about Chloe? Everybody knows about Chloe already, huh? You struggling with this yarn over here, man? Mm -hmm. Why don't you use something different? If you want to use that. Greatest your mercy taught me your loving kindness to me your tender mercy I see Day after day, forever they fall towards me. You always provide I need for me. Great is your mercy towards me. Great is your grace. I was just let me sing. sing. Oh, I was just singing. Look, I was just singing a little bit in the background. Okay, I got that. But you know what I'm having trouble with? See, I got this first one and I got my chain too and everything. Yeah. But when I go in there, I'm having trouble like going and picking the slide, second. Slide your stitches down a little bit. Before you go in, just kind of slide these down. Make yourself a little more room to go in. Maybe it might help you a little bit more. Yes, you better sing. Just what I'm saying. He's singing all love. Somebody's singing in the background. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? Welcome in. We're working on some different little crafts. Joe is working on some cotton yarn for the first time. He's never used it. And I gave him the harder yarn to work with, which is the Lily Sugar and Cream. Not because I wanted him to have a hard time, but because I'm using, I'm in the middle of using a premiere. So I'm working on this bag. I'm trying to get a tutorial made up. That's my goal for tonight. Get this bag done so that way I can get the tutorial put up and then that will be done. So what you got going on over there, Mary? Appreciate you for being here. He said, yes, I know all about Chloe. Her little brother is my little man. Just like Den Denise. Denny shares her grandbabies with me. Oh, that's that's so sweet. Diana, you are no you blessed. You got all everybody, all the grandkids. You got tons. How many grandkids you got? You got tons of grandkids, Diana. And I know they're all are spoiled. It's awesome, my husband crochets too. Oh, really, Mary? How sweet. Yes. And Joe never before. He's always used like acrylic yarns. Um, I think pretty much acrylic, right, babe? Yeah, that's right. So this cotton is like something different. We especially when we're working with Lily Sugar and Cream, there's not any type of softness in that at all. <laughs> so he's like, What is going on with this, babe? I'm trying to pull and tug and get my tension right. That's what I can't get right. Yeah, that tension can be a little weird sometimes. Especially when it comes to that, and then you're using the H-hook, too. I think you're using the H-hook, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes those H-hooks with that yarn can shred it and things like that. Are you doing any shredding? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see what everybody's doing. So, yes, that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. So far, I got two, four, six. I got six rounds, guys. We're going to see how big we're going to make each square. Um, And then we'll go from there. I want it to be like a nice little bag. I don't want it to be too small. I don't want it to be too big, but it's going to be where you can make it how big as you want it. Um, I'm just not sure how I'm gonna make how big I'm gonna do for the tutorial. Because I want it to be where you don't have to use up so much yarn. That's my goal. I want it to be where, you know, if you don't have much yarn but you want to make a quick project, then you're like, hmm, I don't have much cotton, but I do have a little bit. What can I do with these two skins of cotton? You know? Something like that. Something along those lines, or what am I gonna do with these three skeins of cotton that I have? And I'm changing every color. I'm changing colors every couple rows. But like I said, you don't have to change colors every row. 
you can do it whatever way you want. You can have your own design to it, whatever color scheme you want to do. Um, for some reason, I just want to play around with some lime green. Danny was talking about lime green uh, last night, and I was like, ooh, lime green. I never use lime green. So let me go ahead and try it out and see what happens. Um, and I don't know if anybody's ever made bags with uh, acrylic yarn. If you have, let me know. Um, is it okay to do bags with acrylic yarn as long as you line them? I'm or, freezing, huh? You're freezing out? Yeah, it's all oh, yeah. on high, too. Woo. They put on the highest number. Uh, they put on the highest number. Hey, I feel like I was one. going to Antarctic. Yeah. Antarctic. Uh, yeah, he put on the highest number. Now it's burning up again. You burning up again? Or you can move this over there by you. Because I, I can't be froze like that. No, but it's on three bank. Yeah. We're going to turn that like that or something. Because I can't do that. I, it's like freezing me. Uh, the air down, Lord. You said Baby Wayne is about to be up for sale. That boy is so fresh. I'm about to have to tear his tail up. What? I wonder if it's a lag and I wonder if they got all the stuff. Joseph, go up there and see if they got all the stuff on, please. That's what they did last night. And all the comments was coming like 80 years later. Go up there and see if they got all the stuff on up here. Joseph. Go up there and see if they got stuff on. Stop playing with me. Joseph. Let's see. So, oh my God. I'm going to tag YP on Facebook. This is unreal scary. What? What's going on? Oh, wow. I wish you could see right now. I'm on his phone right now. I wish I could see. Let me see if there's any juice on this phone. Okay, we got 23%. Yes. Yeah, so it's starting to get a little bit juicy. So you can't sell my little man. He bring him to me. Oh, yeah. And then he say, no, you can't send. Don't be trying to sell my baby. Well, we try to sell our kids sometimes too. So I understand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we try to sell them a 50 cent or a dollar or a penny. Nobody ever buys them. Hey, Freezer B. Cindy, welcome in. How are you doing? I'm over here working on some granny square bags. My husband's over here trying out some cotton yarn. It ain't working out too well. It's not man. working out. It looks good. Let me see what you got. Ah, oh, look at y'all. Look at him. You want to show everybody? Look, your stuff looks better than mine. Oh, I'm a little jealous. Oh, boy, this yarn is thicker. But look at that. Isn't that granny square pretty good, guys? Look at that. I love it. And that's the wrong side. You need to show them the right side. So you show them that right side. Oh, it's right really side, good. Yeah. yeah, the right side looks better. Look at that, y'all. He's working with some. He's working with some um, yarn, some cotton yarn. He's used to working with acrylic, so he's in for like a little, yeah. a, a little surprise. Nothing on? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he said, "Dang it! I sl I tell you what. If he slapped my granddaughter in the face again, it'll be on. Oh, what? Oh, snap! He said, "I was in Granny D's live. I wanted to see if I could help with the watch list. Oh, if you can get help with the watch list. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, do you have? Let me write your name down." Do you have a channel or do you just want to help watch? Where's my where's my where's my um, ink pen at? Oh, okay, I got my good ink pen in here. I forgot. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. Yes, everybody's showing love to Cindy. I'm good, Joe. You are handsome. You're doing awesome. What not this? <laughs> you're doing awesome. She said you're doing awesome. She didn't say you're handsome. Right? I'm handsome. No, she said you're doing Thanks, awesome. Thanks, Freeza B. She said yeah, you're doing awesome. I know, I know it. I knew it. Oh my goodness. Something. <laughs> oh, everybody said you're doing good. Okay, you don't have a channel, but you want to help Mary. Okay. So I gotta um I gotta get your email. So I got okay. Oh my goodness, 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 goodness. I need to type. Can somebody type my email up there? One of the moderators, please type my email because I need to get everybody who wants to help out. And then you can email me, and that way I'll email you a list of people to watch. Cause I got some people I have to peer up. I gotta get everybody's name up. Amazing Joe, Amazing Grace. Oh, you wanna sing Amazing Grace? <sighs> Diana was asking you, can you sing Amazing Grace? You're handsome. Yeah, you. You're handsome too, and you have a gorgeous. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much, Cindy. Thank, I think I'm Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That say a ranch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind, but now I see. 
Sing it, yes, yeah, sing it. Cause y'all don't get a big head now. Oh my goodness, yes. Mama Search. Don't do me like that, Mama Search. I was singing. I was singing the song with Mama Search. Well, I'm just like, Chloe is Wayne's oldest sister. But my grandson has been getting a little happy with saying, oh, yeah, somebody gets that age. They get like that. You're right. And you kind of got to give him a line. I know with, with a granny like Denny. I know she's going to tear his head off, so we ain't got to worry about right, that. He's going to be right. He's he going to get it right. He said, preach. Preach, you know Joe will get real bougie. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Yes. He said, I have to go. Okay, well, get some sleep. E. Johnson, thank you for hanging out with us. We truly appreciate you so much. Um, we'll definitely keep you lifted up in prayer, and we appreciate your support. Thank you so much. I know what you're saying. Thank you, Joe. He has an amazing voice. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, he aight. <laughs> Mom says he aight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our email is... I wish I could type it up. Denny, do you know our email? Can you type it, please? Oh, bad Why is this looking so weird to me? I'm lost count, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Okay, I'm gonna see what everybody's saying. Then he tore me up when I was, when I met her. What? She tore you up? Oh, oh my goodness! She tore you up. You done tore. Then you tore Diana up. We y'all met. So y'all close? Y'all live close by, or just so happy y'all met each other? Did y'all plan this trip? How did that happen, y'all? Cause I'm wondering, like, how do people be meeting? I want to meet. What do I do here, man? I think Granny's gonna be meeting some people too soon. What do? Let me see. That was really terrible. Maybe attention was just a little tight, but now you gotta go here now. Oh, uh, attention was a little tight right there. Do I need to undo it? I'm gonna keep it looking good. I don't want to go off. Crazy. It might be okay once you get here. Let okay. me check here. See, chain one and then get there. Yeah, see. Thank you, Chit Chat. And then try to. <sighs> he wanted to do speaking to the average freak. You see that? Mm -mm. I ain't seen that. Uh uh. Don't want to do that one. What's everybody saying, man? Huh? What's everybody saying? Okay. Diana Denise is going to whoop us both. Chit chat for the, the thing. Thank you, Chit Chat. Okay, I got it, right. Praise the Praise the Lord, everybody. He said, bro, you know how we do. I already know I'm a touch. Okay, you can find an email. Thank you so much. This is the email for anybody who needs the emails. Please email us so that way y'all can send us if y'all want any type of playlist watch, orders, anything I want. So thank you, Yolanda Girl. I was moving like molasses. <laughs> Good night, E. Johnson. We love you. Thank you so much for being here. Sit tight and let the bed buzz by. Did y'all need a song? I feel a little discouraged. Ooh, Chit Chat Queen said she needs a song. She feel a little discouraged. Oh, uh, what kind of song? I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hmm. Oh, 
Spicy, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Thank you so much. Truly appreciate you for being here. Then he says, I'll tell y'all what happened. I wanted to go visit Diana. I forgot to tell Denise, so we did a Zoom. Denise was so quick and found out we were in the same room. She said, I'm about to go. I'm about to get my woman said, Oh, wait, she was mad. Y'all didn't, I didn't invite. Y'all didn't invite the y'all did not invite Denise. Come on. See, just saw you were live and wondering where you are located. Me in time there. I'm here in Melbourne, Australia. It's 2.50 p.m. 2nd of July. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Margaret. I'm Dana. This is my husband, Joe. And it is approximately 12.58 a.m. here. So it's almost 1 in the morning here. Um, and we're in Indiana in the U.S. So I appreciate you for coming in. Um, like I said, my husband, if you got to hear him doing some praise and some worship. Um, he's our praise and worship leader at church. So he always usually gets all the songs together for us and all that good stuff. And I am working on a crochet granny square bag. I'm trying to do a tutorial. I'm going to get this tutorial up and loaded once we get done with this live tonight. And my husband's working on a granny square with some cotton as well to just kind of test the waters out a little bit because he's not really familiar with cotton yarn. And so he's having some fun with that. But this is going to be nice. I'm going to line it and see what happens because I got to get some cotton for that. That's my next goal. I haven't really been anywhere to get some of that. Cotton. I have to get get some. I have to get some fabric. I'm, I have no fabric, literally. And I want to line stuff. I want to make masks. I have no fabric. Last time I went to Walmart, they didn't have any, and um, I don't know if they're restocking or what. But I got to figure out how to get some. You said I was with Denny on there on three different occasions. We got together to hang out, and she tore me up big time, lol. But I have bubble wrap, and I need to get goggles and a crash helmet. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, you got to get. You got to get prepared. <laughs> So I almost missed a singing. I was in the kitchen. Oh my goodness, Sean, I'm so glad you didn't miss it. 
Yes, praise God. Thank you, Brother Joe. Everybody show some love. Thank you for the songs. Everybody saying yes. Sing it. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody show some love. Thank you, Joe. Chicha Queen says thank you. Anytime. He said, Joe, can you sing How Great Thou Art? Hi, y'all. Hey, Barbara. Welcome in. Everybody showing some And Mama Touch says good job. So I line bags with pillowcases. Ooh. Well, I got to get some of those too then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get some pillowcases too. I'm just saying, yeah, good That's smart out. though to do that with pillowcases. Because that way you gotta worry about buying fabric. Is it no, cheaper? No, because the way it just set down in there, it is set down in there. You but just... if you got a big that type of bag, oh, yeah, that's true. if I got like a little itty bitty bag, I had to cut the little corner of the thing. probably so. But it's still gonna have that look like, one corner for you already. Like a little, the... a little corner. Yeah, a little corner. That is very smart. No, but if I did a corner, it would be rectangle. It would be triangles. So I would have to do. No, no you say yes, good looking out. I'm up ready to crochet. You ready to crochet? So my store is slowly restocking, but fabric sells almost as fast as we can get. Yeah. And I really want to get some cotton so badly. So I'm going to eventually try to get some or order it or something. Maybe go to Joanne's. I don't know. We don't have a vehicle. So it's really hard to say where we're going to go, when we're going to get it. So you say, oh, no, I hope cotton isn't so hard to start with. That's what I ordered to make this. Oh, no, it's not going to be hard. Um, you can you can do it. Don't worry, Shonda. You they'll definitely love her. You'll definitely be able to do it. What kind of cotton did you get, Shonda? What kind of brand did you get? I'm using Premier Home. Joe is using what you using, man? The light Lily Sugar and Cream. I mean, it's just different, Shonda, because I never did it before. That's all it is. It's just different for mm -hmm. me. And I'm used to like Worcester weight or mm -hmm. whatever acrylic yarns that slide right through, and this ain't sliding that well. Wow. And I'm using a bigger hook, so I think I probably should use a smaller hook to start off. Because mm -hmm. I think right now, I'm, my uh, I tried, I started it off trying to keep up with you, the way you had your tension going, and now it, well, your tension a little tighter than mine with this yarn. So mm -hmm. I have to do my tension with this yarn. Yeah, do your tension. Do everybody got different tensions, baby. I know that, baby. That, that's why I said mm -hmm. I started off. I'm trying to do your tension, and it's like. Sometimes it's too tight. Sometimes you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? So, that's how I was different. Yeah, yeah. tensions are different. You don't learn that. Yes. Okay. You got the uh, peaches and cream. Okay, that's gonna be good. Also, CJ said you've been selling some. You've been making some hats and selling some masks. I mean, making some. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I woke up really early today, y'all. Not much sleep. So by reading, it might be a little off because seriously, I have not gotten that much sleep. So forgive me. I've been making and selling masks. Wow. I want to get some making some masks. I mean, I don't know if I really want to sell them or anything, but I just I want to have some for the family. Mm -hmm. So I haven't got a chance to do it. I've done some crochet ones, but I want to get the cotton ones done. Crochet Rock says she uses those canvas bags to get at Hobby Lobby. Oh, really? Tracy does? I love Tracy. Okay, it's bigger than pill pillowcase. Then I use bed sheets. I'll cut up sheets. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I like, I like the deals. Anything I can get. I love anything. It's better seal. You know, it splits. Yes. What about ordering from Amazon? And, ooh, I didn't think about that. I'm going to check and see. Is it better? Size your internet is better. All right. No, you made your internet's back on. I'm so happy. Diana says, God bless you, Joe. Hello, Sister Reese. Says, Hello, Dana and Joe and everyone in the chat. Hello, Craven Crochet. Welcome in. How are you doing? So I made masks too. Hello, Joe. Stop staring at. Stop staring at us. Okay, so I got this part done. I'm doing the black now. Another row of black. Oh, yeah, Thank you. So I'm trying, I gotta measure it out and see exactly how big I want these to be, y'all. I don't know where's that. Joseph was a movie or something. They are. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't that's about you. Oh. They are giving me a headache. Yeah, you know, <laughs> only made what you got going on over there. You said they aren't giving you. So you said, no, I was, no, it was sugar, lily sugar and cream. I just checked. Okay, so yep, that's good. That's the same thing that Joe's using. It's, it'll be great, especially for dishcloths. Very good for dishcloths. And um, I've been, I'm doing like a little dishcloth series. So yes, it's very good for that. You say so you're doing a great job, Joe, on your square. Oh, thank you so much, Diana. See, Diana said so you're doing great on your square. Thank you, thank you, Diana. Okay, so I was watching Shonda, was watching Shonda Motor Channel today. And she has fabric for sale, one dollar yard, and you pick <gasps> what? Oh my goodness, yes. that's crazy! 
And I'm telling her channel. Is my medicine there? My stomach medicine there too? I got a I got medicine a notification there? for her, Mary, on Wait. my phone, and I cannot remember what day it was. Yesterday? If it was today or was it yesterday? My my I got a notification on my phone, and I never even got to watch this video yet. What? That is amazing. Has anybody got any yarn? Does anybody grab any up? Did she have lots of it? Because I would love to get some of that. No. Hey, look, look her through in the back. It's in my thumb. Is, that a little, is it a smaller? Yeah. Okay, yes. Um, let's see. So it was, it, what is sleep? Get all the sleep you can now. And menopause hits sleep is one of the things in the past. Really? Oh. Yeah, I did not get a lot of sleep today, guys. And why did I get out of sleep? Oh, because our daughter ended up leaving early in the morning. It was just so much going on. And uh, I did not get that much sleep. So we woke up today, y'all. Oh, we were up and then we had to go and run all day. Oh, my goodness. Everybody show some love. Yes, send up Molter. Yes. I saw her. I saw her because um, I got her bill rung. And I saw her. Notification come up and I didn't get to watch the video because I think I was in the middle of doing something else. Yes. What do you like better, a Dollar Tree cotton or the other? Um, the Dollar Tree cotton. Well, the Dollar Tree. Where I get? Okay, this right here. I like this because it's softer, which is the Premier. But I like the Dollar. I like the the Lily Sugar and Cream because the Lily Sugar and Cream is thicker. Um, you're you're okay. Lily Sugar Cream is a lot thicker, so mm -hmm. I like that. You said you're green on it, man? It's over there. It's over there. Look right inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see it right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everything be in my pocket. Yeah. My mom is going through menopause right now. She's like, oh, yeah. Me too. My mom, right now in her car, she will ride down the street with the air on and the windows open. And what else did she say she has on, babe? I'm making a video. And the seats heated. Okay, so she'll have her seats on heat. Like, she has heated seats. So she'll have the heated seats on. She'll have the windows down. And then she'll have the air on. So she has all kind of stuff going on at once. So, I mean, I know I'm, I'm probably going to have to get prepared for it, guys. So, we shall see. I don't know. We shall see how it goes. I might, maybe it'll skip me. I don't know. My granny didn't have to deal with menopause. But my mom did, so I don't know if it'll skip me. Will I get it? I'm, I'm, we'll see. You'll know if she get it because you don't see me. I won't see you. I'm leaving town. Horrible. Leaving town. I was just thinking, is that about the time to ready to get started? Yeah, it is. Like 28%. It might be enough, I don't know. He said, I've done that, except the heated seats. Really? He said, I've been up at five, and I haven't been back to sleep yet. And I still like, really? Oh, my goodness, Vivi, you've been hanging out. Yes, yeah. What? He said, yeah, that's exactly what a terrible joke God plays on us when we get old. Or was it E's fault? Ooh. It, was it E's fault, y'all? Yep. He said, hello, how you true? You don't even recognize yourself. Ooh, we high flash are no joke. What? Chrissy, you're back. Thank you for coming back. You said no sleep. Thanks for menopause and anxiety and other stuff. Wow. You so said you get hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold. Ooh. So, oh, you finished it? Oh, wow. So you get like a finishing period. It only happens for so long. Okay, so that's good then. I didn't know how it works. I'm like, is it, like, is it forever? Like after you reach a certain age, you just deal with it forever or how does it work? I don't know. Good call, Joe. It's safer. Oh, <laughs> Byron said, "Good call for you to be gone." I'm out of here. Is it gonna be like that, y'all? Is it gonna be like that? I mean, it's just a lot of like you know, like that coffee was delicious. It's not morning. Yeah. No. Wait, let me see. Okay. You're my oh, That's what it sounds like. Stand like no other. Gentle like no other, reach us to me. <laughs> you crazy, Nana. You are my own. Oh, my goodness. Menopause on average lasts about 15 years. 
Get ready, you young girls. It sucks. Oh my goodness, 15 years of it. I've been going through it right now for probably about the last 10 years myself. I wonder how long, what age does it start about? about it started for me at 25. Let's start about 40, about the age of 40 to 55? Or does it 45 to 60? I don't know. You see, I feel like it's been 20 years of hot flashes, and I'm still dealing with it. Really? Oh, mood swings too mad for it. Don't read. What? Really? Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank God I'm Oh, my goodness. Are y'all serious? Thank God I'm Libra Joe. Oh, my goodness. So I feel better now. And no monthly friend either. That's, oh, my goodness. Oh, that's the best one. That's what I'm excited about. It's killing me. Just remember that I got 30 badges. Chauncey. I'm okay, but I don't want to. You want to build us? Okay. Because they're going to fall over. I'm going to move and they're going to fall. Why are you going to move them? Come on, when I move around. Okay, good night, Lord. Thank you for hanging out with us. Sleep tight. Mary says hers is over. Thank you so much for the Thank you so much for the support. You said I apologize to my husband ahead of time. Oh, my goodness. What? 15 years. I know that's a lot, y'all. He said, I spilled coffee on my yarn one day and cried all day long. What? Oh, my goodness. Y'all scaring me. Oh, Don't do this to me, y'all. Hey, Miss Audis. Miss Audis is up. You hanging out, Miss Audis? He said, mine was about 48. Wow. So that's when you started it or you stopped? He said, sometimes younger. What? I'm 50, I'm 58 and I ain't through it yet. Oh, Lord Jesus. He said, I started. It started for me around 38 and I'm 53 now. Oh, my goodness. He said, it's different for everyone. Okay. Craven Crochet, wasn't that worship good? Yeah, about 48. He said, yeah, little Joe, you have menopause too. He said, 45 to 45 early 50s. Wow. He said, I've been praying for menopause for some time now. And my pastor's wife have partnered up so we can pray for each other. Ooh, okay, that's good. That's good, Denny. That's the best part. Evicting on Oh, yeah, I can't wait to evict her. So Joe, get ready. Then they're gonna go through the pause one day. Oh my goodness. He said I have crying days too. Wow. Well, that's guess we gotta go through it though. I bet not. Wow. I can't I can't go through it, John. Just send something. So I've been dealing with it for 15 years. Wow, my mother had menopause. Twice the first time it was forced menopause after they took her unit out and then the second one was the real deal. Wow. Um, she's been going through herself too. She had to get, she got a, like hysterectomy and everything. So she's been going through a lot. He said it can start at twenty five. Oh Jesus! He said, I didn't know that that was a crying symptom. Crying what? That was a symptom, yeah. I had no idea. I, I'm learning. Y'all teaching me? So my mama got piercings and tattoos. Thank the Lord she didn't. She did it because at the time she did. At the time of her death, she was unrecognized. What? Wow. He said I ain't stopped yet. My mom and grandma didn't stop until 60. Yeah, what? Oh. Mm -mm. Miss Tina still, thank you, Miss Tina, for still being here. So my husband says he's yeah. says he sees penguins leaving yeah. when he goes out and comes back. What? Oh my gosh. He said, I don't know what it's like because I didn't go through all oh, yeah, my my granny didn't go through it either. And so it was kind of crazy because um my mom ended up going through it. It's like a skip. It's like it skipped her. It skipped my granny and what's my mom? He said men go through change too. They just eliminate females. Ooh, that's good. You know what, Joe? God will give you more grace. Yes. Some people don't have any symptoms. What? It's oh my God. I have been in about two years. Please don't say 15 to 20. Ooh, we shine the eye. Definitely gonna be praying for you because I don't. 15 years. You better go grab your Bible. It's the first time I had a hot flash. I thought I was dying. My heart was beating so real fast. My chest hurt. I was sweating like a big old, like a big in a, like a pig in a fur coat. I learned to take all caffeine out of my diet. It works, but sometimes I slip. Oh, wow. So you got to, like you said, that caffeine, like you said, it might get you too jittery or something. Wow. I tried to go into a site, but I couldn't figure it out. What site? What site you try to go on to? So when I have hot flashes, my son tells my husband, mom is out in paradise and we can't go. What? Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Well, they see, they kind of find a way to know how to deal with him, you know, when all that stuff is going on. <laughs> ah. 
Are you ready for anything, honey, or no? I won't go down. What's the song? What's the song you stopped singing? Don't do it Huh? I thought you were singing a song. I said you are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other. Reach as to me. Oh, okay. You I'm are like my own hope like no other. Hope like no other reaches to me in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. You lift me up. You are my own. I don't know about that, Noni, man. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. Reach as to me. Mm, I love my sweets. Reach as to me. Reach as to me. I love my sweets. Yes, I do. I love my sweets too. I'm gonna cut some of them out. Love your grace in the power of your name. Who's singing what? Who was singing? You lift me up. Is that salt, sugar, caffeine? Bring on the flat. Oh, wow. You lift me up in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. You lift me up. Choices, maybe I'll do that. You lift me up. So I use a, you say you have really thick curly hair. And it's gotten thinner now. Ooh. I see that too, though. My hair has gotten thinner too, though. And that runs in my family. Thinning hair definitely runs my family. Like gray hair runs in Joe's family. Thinning hair runs in mine. You say I eat bananas, they keep you calm. Oh, really? Okay, so I keep my bananas on hand. What about banana breads? Okay, sorry. Okay, bananas. I took it to a whole new level. I did. You said that's my first time hearing that, CJ. That sweet can bring it on. Oh, wow. So my husband is my PCA, so he takes care of my. And gets paid for what? Excuse me. He treats me like a queen. Wow, get out of here. He always has the little thing. He always has little thing mean the most. Wow, that's so sweet. So oh no, no, no. Everything I like. No wonder mine is, has been so bad. Really? Everything you like. That's so sad. He said that could be diverse. Oh, really? What? You said you want Joe's here? Oh yeah, he got a lot of hair, don't y'all? Tons of hair, loads of it. If I get too thin, I'm gonna be just going there. Snaps. I'm gonna have to go ahead and do this. Go ahead, give me some little snips, and give me some little crochet right into my hair. Have me some little wigs. Can I give me some wigs, made up? Sure. Okay. He said, I ain't got no doy roy. They zapped mine out. Oh, they did. Ooh. Okay, so you, what you see anything or something? Yeah. What you saying? Huh? You said when I'm gonna sing? Yeah. Lord, I don't know. What do you want me to sing? I don't know. What do you want me to sing, baby? Uh, yeah. If you eat a chocolate bar at night, you will suffer all. Ooh, wee. Oh, yeah. Well, I gotta learn that because I love my chocolate bar, so I'm gonna learn that too. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I can't remember what someone wanted to hear. Remember, baby, what was that? What song? Mm -hmm. I got too many songs in my head. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Remember, we can always think about it, man, when we get in.
You figure out what you're talking about. It's old Dana. I saw this YouTube that this guy had a three foot braids that cut them all off. Wow. I no longer have a braid. I wish I had a tape measure. I wish I had a tape measure handy. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what here it is. I show him to measure it. I don't know what's in Jesus, he'll fix it. Jesus, he'll fix it. Jesus, he'll fix it. What's that? Mm -hmm. oh, I need to probably call. I need to. I need to go from the top of his hair, which I'm working on. I'm making a granny square um, bag, so it's gonna be a tutorial I'm gonna be doing next. So I'm just, I'm doing a freestyle. I'm sitting here and then I'll get the tutorial done. Okay, I'm gonna. I gotta measure from the top of your head, right? Right? Mm. From the root. The root. The root. The root. The root. The root. Yeah, a little bit, baby, please. 32 inches. 32, well, 32 and a half inches. 32 and a half inches as long as here, huh? That's some long hair, sir. Oh, that's what the Jesus, he'll fix it. Okay, let's see. Yes. So when you go through the pause, just remember and keep telling yourself you ain't the first and it's natural. So be happy and deal with what the good Lord gives you. Okay, you're right. How you doing, DJ? Thank you for coming in. Show some love. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up. I love, I love, I give myself away. Shana says she loves, I give myself away. The, tie a pink bow on Joe's ponytail. He'll be so cute. Tie a pink bow on her and just snip it off and glue it in my head. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, you know what I'm there? You wanna... What you want to say? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, uh, there's nothing to press on. I was trying to see if anything can sing oh, in the okay. background, but I can't. I ain't nothing I can do right now. Okay, go ahead and just do it. I'm trying to sing. Oh, God. What's it going to be? All right. Okay, I should measure my hair sometime when it's hot and a ponytail and clipped mm -hmm. up. It goes down to my tip. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, your hair is long, too. Yeah, Joe's is close to his as well. It It's like right at the top of it. Did you figure out what we're going to uh, teach as well this week? Choices. Oh, that's going to be good. So we're going to be talking about choices well, with the youth the this week. She's straight. She's straight. Going to wow, that's, yeah, that is long. I gave myself the CB haircut. I need a professional to straighten it up. Oh, do you? Wow. Yeah, it looks good, though. You did a great job, Noni May. It looks really good. You said your hair is beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. I need to do something to my hair, actually. It's not do something to it, Diana. Hey, Heather. Welcome in. How are you doing? Hey, Heather. How are you doing? Uh, I'm over here working on this bag, getting it done a little bit because I hate myself with the short hair. Plus, it gets so frizzy. I look like an old white woman with an afro. <laughs> so, your hair gets frizzy? Oh, my goodness. So I don't know if this is going to be big enough. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight. Mm, so, this is eight rows. Wait, what, what was good last night, Barbara? That was good last night. Is that oh, okay? So you're good. I'm glad to hear that you're good, Heather. Okay, so this is good right here. I should I do a couple more rounds. Yeah, just do ten rounds. Okay. I'm probably gonna do ten rounds. Make it easy. Okay, I see. I'm good. Uh huh. You look. You work so fast. Oh, thank you so much, Tasha. I'm just trying to figure because I'm going to make a tutorial out of it. So I'm like, let me figure out, you know, how many rows I'm going to do so that way when I do this tutorial, everybody knows exactly what to do. Because I want to make it too long where I got to show every single step. Like, I always kind of do a little bit. I do so much work on camera, and then I'll say, you know, when we come back, this is what we'll have, you know? So everybody don't have to be sitting there, like, waiting 80 years for a tutorial. Thank you, Ken. Everybody show us love. I hope you heard your comment and busted out laughing. <laughs> He said, my ponytail was 24 inches long, but the band to the end. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, yeah, so you got some long hair, too. Loyalty. Oh, yeah, we talked about oh, loyalty yeah, last night. Like, yeah, that was good. And tonight, we're talking about choices. That's what we're going to talk to the youth about this week. That's what we're going to talk to the youth about this week. Choices. That's good, because they it's time for it. Yeah, that's, that's good. I started off, I said, people are often blinded 
by what modes and shapes the decision they make. Uh, I said, uh, this lesson helps peel back the why and how and what behind their choices. It really has the power to help your, your students in a big way. Then I start off. I said, we came out of, I'm coming, we're coming out of Romans 12, 1 and 2 this week. You said what? I'm writing now. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Okay, keep going, I'm sorry. And I said, I said, ever think about the everyday choices we make? Like, for real, why do we dress the way we do? Why we talk and act the way we do? Why we hang around the people we hang with? Why are we sitting in this room right now? Then I said, before today is over, I want you to ask yourself three questions. Who makes, who makes my choices? How am I making my choices? Why am I making my choices? Mm. So let's start off who makes our choices here. Who or what pressures us to do what we do? I want to ask y'all that question. Who or what pressures pressures us to do what we do on a daily basis? Like, I mean, with me, I'm not really pressured to do on a daily basis, but like, I want to, I say I would want to dress a certain way. Like on Sundays, I feel like I I, have, I I should dress a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, I don't know if I'm pressured to do it, but. Or are you influenced by certain But people? I'm influenced. I might be influenced by it because I'm a, I'm a pastor, so I feel like I have to dress a certain way. Who influences you to dress that way? Other pastors you see Other pastors you? that I've seen in my past. Other pastors I see in my past and also my bishop. I feel like I need to dress a certain way. I feel like I need to hold a certain, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I feel like that's like, I like that peers, social media. Yeah, that's, that's for the kids. We were talking about different things with the kids this week. Peers, social media, yeah, that's good. You say, ain't nobody pressuring me to do nothing because I don't do much. Yeah, you're right. But we're going to be talking to the kids about this this week just to see how where they come from. Like you said, and it says peers and social media, it's going to be, I know they're probably going to be saying that a lot. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? This is all about choices. We all as adults, we make choices too. Yeah, we, we don't have to just be like, basically focus on the kids. Like as adults, we ain't nobody pressure me. So what do what you think, far as you, what you feel like, babe? What you think? Um, pressure you to do like, you That's think? an awesome point to talk about. Thank you so much, Sheila. I think so far as like, I don't know, like, do what, to do. Wait, what are you saying? What was the question? Who or what pressures us to do what we do? Like wear what we wear or talk how we talk? Um, Maybe TV. Yeah. Like TV, YouTubers, like if it's certain things, if I want to be a YouTuber, if I want to make a certain thing or have a certain thing I want to do, like people with like-minded stuff, I'll, like I get ideas from them and, you know. What about, what about your setting though? What about... Like, uh, far as like, where you at? Is that is there a pressure to, to speak a certain way if you're in a certain oh yeah like setting? You yeah. know what I'm saying? But depending on what setting, setting I am, yeah. Are you pressured in a way that you say, oh, I have to wear that, or I have to speak this way, or I have to do this certain thing to be accepted? Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If they're like, because we all do this as adults, we can't say just kids do this because we know when we go somewhere, we know we have to speak a certain way. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't speak this certain way if I was around a judge or a police officer or if I was at school, I wouldn't speak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The way I speak to you guys, I wouldn't speak that way. So it depends on like if you're in a formal setting or informal setting. Yeah. So if you're in a more formal setting, of course you're going to, you know, you're going to speak more, you know, properly, you know, just yeah. things like that. You use more full sentences, things like that. That's what everybody's saying. You said, I wear whatever fits. Parents, yes, parents. You said my yeah. son-in-law is a pastor. He is like that. Nope. You said my self-esteem causes me to react in a certain way. Wow, okay, that's good, Sheila. So when I was a child, I had teachers that made us all in what is it called? What is this right? In you enunciate. Oh, enunciate, and it was and that stuck with me. There you go. You said, well, I got to buy new Crocs. So I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> He said, even as crash or social media. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. Social media, we get influenced by what's hot, what's the newest oh, thing is making right now. Yeah. Oh, everybody's making 
um, summer outfit. So I need to make one too, or I need to. If I make the same exact outfit they're making, I still need to kind of stay yeah. with what's trending. So you're right. Sticking with what's trending. You say you see someone make something, you're like, ooh, I want to make that. There you go. Yep. Wow. I'm always like that. Buy that yarn. Oh, my goodness. I'm talking about that yarn. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. I said, if we are honest with ourselves, we would say that the culture around us has a huge say in what we wear, how we act, and how we talk. Wow. And when I say culture, I'm talking about social media. Movie stars, recording artists, athletes, where we live, the school we go to, and the friends we hang out with. I'm talking about technology, books, and whatever social class people put us in. Wow. I said maybe your parents make all the choices for you, either because they are afraid that you are going to turn into a heathen, or because they want to protect you. Wow, that's good. Maybe your friends make your decisions for you because they are the closest family you have. Mm -hmm. And you're afraid you will you will lose them. Have anybody like in their past made a choice because they didn't want to lose a friend? Like wow. I mean, I know when I was younger, I used to do that a lot. Like I as I got that. older, I kind of grew out of like the you know what I'm saying. As far as um, I grew out of that. Like when I turned 17, I kind of like turned everything around and I started making better choices and mm -hmm. everything. I wasn't really like the worst kid because I always knew I was gonna graduate from school and graduate from college and all. I always knew that. But I used to make like really poor choices, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Going to say, hey, how you doing? Yes, I used to how make, you doing? I used, I used to make like really poor choices, like coming up to, up until like 17, and I decided then that I wanted to be different. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I and I was influenced by the people that was around me. Like man, I don't want them to think I'm lame. I don't want them to think that you know what I'm saying. Like I don't know some people. Some people don't learn that early. Some people carry that up until their wow. adulthood. Wow. So, and that's why people, you see people going to jail, people going to prison, people, because they're, they, they still making those poor choices. So I was wondering if anybody on here, did yes. it take them long to realize that they were making poor choices or did they stop early? Yes, because, your, faith, your yeah. faith definitely influences you. Yes, your faith definitely influences you. You're right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Is that, is that like something you guys kind of like, uh, stop early or did it take you a while to figure it out or was it something that you just saw oh, i got this or you that decent child where you didn't have to worry about that you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying um what are you saying and i said okay i said no what was that what was that question you want me to answer it yeah answer it what was the question I said maybe because I said maybe I asked. I said, man, you made me forget the question. Oh god! Okay. Oh god! Okay. I thought you was reading. No. Oh, okay. I didn't, never mind. I, didn't, I, didn't. I said, did was you one of those? Was you one of those people who who found out early in your life to make better choices because you had made poor choices early and you were able to decide that all? Oh, well, I'm gonna make better choices. I, you stopped them early, or did you wait on later in life to figure out? You know what I'm saying? You waited later in life to. Figure out, you know what I'm saying, your path. Like, you waited later on in life that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes a long time to to, uh, to figure out how, how to make the right choices. Um, I don't think it was extremely long. I'm still, I'm, you know, I think probably a little earlier than normal. There's yeah. some. A little earlier than some, I should say. I said, maybe money make your, make your choices because... You don't have any, and you are tired of living broke. Mm -hmm. Or you have a lot of stuff, and that what drives you. That's a few examples of what would be making your choices. Wow, you're right. Let's look at how we are making our choices. How are we making our choices? How can music influence the choices you make? How, do, how does it influence how we act, talk, and what we wear? Wow. Like I know when I was coming up, I know when I was coming up, I used to want to dress like the latest fad, like whatever they had on in their videos, whatever was going on. And that's what happens with a lot of kids these days. They want to dress, have wear the latest fashions and all that. And you see a lot of people want to. You see these guys in these videos, they sag in and they doing all this, and they they that's the way these kids want to dress these days. So they like really influenced by their music. And the mm -hmm. culture that's around them. Yeah. Yeah, so right. I've seen that a lot of kids like in a, in 
a lot of kids around the neighborhood was doing the same thing. Yeah, they were sagging, and my wife like this. My wife seen some of them sagging, and she like, "Come here." I let you finish that part. She's like, "Come here." And you know where that comes from, right? Mm -hmm. And she began to minister to him, and the little boy was just looking at her, and, and he was like, "Oh, like he was just like looking at her, like, oh my God, that really where that's that's really where that come from? That comes from jail? Oh my God!" And the little boy instantly pulled up his pants, and mm -hmm. you know he he was listening. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it take that person to just one of us to be to take to go get that person to be that person to let them know, because a lot of times they don't understand because they're looking at everybody else around them and thinking that it's okay. So yeah. you really have to really, really, really sometimes just mm -hmm. stand up and don't sit back and just be that person that say, ooh, they sagging. Look at them. Yeah. Oh, God. That, mm -hmm. you know, they sagging. Mm -hmm. they, you know what I'm saying? That's why I took the initiative and wanted to, be, wanted to get into ministry because yeah. that, that's really one of the things. We can't sit back and and and, and uh, just talk about people. and You know what I'm saying? We need to take the initiative ourselves sometimes yeah. and help. Yeah, that is it. She had a friend who wouldn't even say anything. She was walking, put a kid's pants up. You're right. That's good. My oldest used to wear those saggy pants. Busting the sag. I hated it. His boxer showing and his pants sag. I know. We got, there's a young guy um, who does the same thing we always see, and he wears them the same exact way. As I get judged because of the way I carry myself and dress, but people don't know it's because I grew up with a low self esteem. So I dress up to cover how I was feeling on the inside. Wow. Wow, shoot, that's good. And that's what a lot of us do that. A lot of us, you know, we might be feeling down on the inside, but we try to dress it up and try to, you know, make ourselves feel better. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. But at the same time, it's good as you try to, you know, you're trying to make yourself feel better. You're trying to find ways to do that. So I know some people will judge us for that. Some people will not understand that, you know, but it's good that you are trying, you know. Everybody's trying to love you. So my son tried doing the saggy pant thing. He stopped after I did it and show him how silly it looks. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh it looks, my goodness. You know, and it, it just don't look good. It don't. It don't look good it at really all. It really doesn't. Though. And I always taught my boys, I said, look, I didn't do it. You're not going to do mm -hmm. it. Don't do that. That don't look good. It's not a good look for you. Don't let me catch your drawers hanging down. Oh, or you just wear those drawers only. <laughs> Evidently, you didn't want to wear no pants today, so why don't you just wear the drawers only? Wow, it was good. pointless to wear those pants. Yeah. Why do you have those pants on? Just wear your drawers. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey Iris, Iris, how you doing? How are you, Iris? That is so good. I said, I said to the kids, I, I said, Dan, I love your top. Oh, thank you so much, Diana. Thank you. So guys, I knew I didn't care. Guys, I knew didn't care that it came from jail. Really? It's like, I'm still going to wear it. They knew. They already knew. It's like, oh, well. Some people, but you still, there are some people that still don't care. Like you said, they don't care. We are doing great. Thank you so much, Iris, for asking. I'm over here working on this bag, trying to get a tutorial done once we get done from here. And I said, most of you have probably heard the phrase YOLO. You only live once. A lot of people adopted this motto and started to live like there was no tomorrow because of a popular song. Right. Now, what happens when you live like there is no tomorrow? Then all of a sudden, tomorrow comes. Mm. You've been spending all your money Early. telling people what's on your mind because you know they deserve it. Wow. Maybe you started... Gravitating towards drugs and alcohol, skipping school and sleeping in. What happens then? What happens when someone disrespects you and you're like YOLO? Wow, you only live once. You only live once. Wow. What happens when you are tempted to steal from a mall knowing the police is in there, knowing they have people watching you, knowing they have cameras, but you're like YOLO? Ah, this is this kid's on me. But what happens when your boyfriend or girlfriend is pressuring you to have sex? And you're like, YOLO. Wow. Then a month later, someone is pregnant. Mm, mm, mm. That's just one example of the culture around us can influence our choices. Mm -hmm. The idea is to be aware of what is influencing you and how you make the choices you do. And I said, what is, what is the why behind our choices? Oh, that's good. What's the why? What is the why behind our choices? 
A lot of times we never think about the why behind our choices, mm -hmm. even as adults. We never think about because as adults, sometimes we sometimes um, God will speak to us and tell us, you know what I'm saying? Certain choices that we're supposed to make and we still make it. Yeah. We still do it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I ask people, I've always asked this, this question, what voice are you listening to? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we hear two different voices, but we go with the voice that sounds the best that's going to benefit us at the moment instead of going with the voice that's going to benefit us in the end. Mm -hmm. Joe. Joe. Shh. That's natural way, Cody. Hey, natural way. Yeah, how you way. doing? You should have saw five of your videos today. I will see. Thank you so much. She said my son's pants were sagging. He was carrying up, carrying stuff upstairs, and his pants fell all the way down. Wow. Yeah, I remember my brother was doing that. His pants fell all the way down. He literally couldn't even walk. He was like, like just like waddling. I'm like, pull him up. It's the fastest way to get the kids to stop doing something. Be an adult, doing the same thing. Then it's not so cool anymore. Oh my goodness, you're right. You, you're so right. You said I used to come up and down. I used to come up and pull Adam's pants down. I said, you want to show your boxers at the top? You might as well show them at the bottom. <laughs> oh, y'all hilarious. He said, I got, you got lost down the hall. Oh, my goodness. Then he got lost down the hall again. So I'm wondering why I ate the banana pudding a couple of hours ago. Because now I got to be oh, snaps. Have you talked to um Brenda as well, Noni Man? Okay, you ready, man? Yep. 80.7. Again, if we are honest, music, money, friends, movies, sports, Again, if we are honest, music, money, friends, movies, sports shapes the choices we make for two reasons. Assistance and fear. Pretty much any choice we make hinges on those two things. We dress like our friends because we fear that we will look different. And we want to be accepted by our friends. We want to fit in. We chase money or stuff because we fear that we won't live a good life and have good things we fear that we won't be accepted if we don't have a lot of money or stuff wow i used to deal with that too when i was younger yeah me too well it wasn't so much i deal with it but i always wanted to have a lot yeah, of that's stuff what I'm saying. i always wanted to have what everybody else had yeah i always wanted to have i actually dealt with the deal with wanted to have more than what the next person had Oh, wow. Like, I always wanted to have more than what anybody else had. I didn't want nobody to have what I had, so I always wow. tried to get more than what the next person would have. Wow. Like, that was always me coming up. I never wanted nobody to have, like, what I had. Because wow. I was always, I was spoiled as it was already, so I wanted to have, if somebody got two pair of shoes, wow. I go tell my mom, I got to get three pairs. I get four pairs. Because wow. they got two pairs already, so I can't, they can't beat me. Wow. Okay, Brenda made a video. She got home from the hospital this morning. She needs lots of rest. Okay, she made a video. I saw a video pop up, but I didn't know if it was something she had previously previously had recorded and uploaded. So I'm not gonna check it out. Okay. Thanks, Noni. Oh, I'm so glad she's okay. She's doing okay. That's good. That's good. I used to definitely like whatever somebody else had, I had to have it. You said I've been happy to just, uh, have an easy bake oven. Guys, oh my goodness, I love that. I, I just I wanted to have what everybody else had. Not all the time I didn't get it. But I did want to keep up with everybody, you know, like what's the hottest things out of everybody got this, like you said, easy bake oven. I wanted to have one. Like when I, by the time I got easy bake oven, it might not been the, it might not been as popular, but I still got one. So like, what was happening? Okay, your phone died, Barbara. You said, yes, when I was younger, I used to wear tight clothes and short skirts showing my body. I had insecurity, so I felt showing my body would take away from my insecurity. Wow. Wow. That's good. I said we flirt. And sleep around because we fear that we are not good enough for someone to love us. Wow. And we want to be accepted by our boyfriends and girlfriends. Wow. We get drunk at parties and do drugs because we fear that people will label us goody goodies. Wow. And goody goodies are not accepted by circles we run in. Wow. So I'm going to read Romans 12, 1 and, 1 and 2. It says, so hear what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. 
Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so, so, so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into you fit into it without even thinking. Wow. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be charred from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it like the culture around you. Mm. Always dragging you down to his level of immaturity. Right. God brings the best out of you, develops well, well formed maturity in you. And so there's really only two choices. Live free following Jesus or be enslaved to fear and acceptance. Wow. Wow. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. Mm -mm. Hello, Lorraine. How are you doing? Thank you so much for popping in and hitting the thumbs up. We truly appreciate you for being here. Word says, and know that Jesus loves me and can't worry about what others think. Or say about me, I have to worry about what the Lord thought and said about me. Wow, that's good. My mother has a fear of house burning down. She wore that five watt bulb and on the easy bake oven was going to burn down. Out really? Yeah, I remember. That's what my granny used to say too. She used to be like, "Oh, well, you gotta make sure you got the right bulb in there." Like I, I had got it, but I had to have the right size bulb, so I had to wait forever to get the right bulb. And then when I finally got, it, I was able to use it, but. I had to wait till I got the right <laughs> the right book or I was not gonna be able to use it. When my kids try to tell me that they wanted something they their friend had, I say, I ain't their friend's mama. They stopped that. Ooh, they stopped it quick. He said, when I was a kid, I never asked for nothing. My mom didn't put up with that. We took what we could get and was happy with to have it. But what she was doing was oh teaching God. us how to work for what we Ooh, that's good. That is so good. So I went to my friend's house and she had a pool. I went home. I told my grandfather I wanted a pool, and he said, "You have, you have one. You have one." And he said that said you have one. I said, "No, we don't." He showed me the ground where the cesspool. My mama told me if I wanted something to earn it, earn the money for it. That's good. You're right. <laughs> Diana, my mother would fill up the bathtub and tell us to wear our swimsuits in the bath. That was our pool. That's a, that's a good pool, though. Mm, that is. It took so long to do a cake. It took so long to do a cake. Mm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. So, I said, how are you going to make that choice? Who's going to make that choice for you? Wow. Why will you make that choice? My turn. My turn. I hope this has challenged you to think about the choices you make. I hope you're inspired to ask God to show you the source of your choices, how you make them and why you make them. Yeah, that's going to be good. I can't wait to see what, they, what the responses are. Yeah. I got some other ones that I wrote too. I really don't know if I'm going to do that one this week, but I got some other ones I wrote too. Yeah. Are you okay, Barbara? Yes, Barbara, you okay? Yeah, yeah, them doing. No, you're not okay. What's wrong, Barbara? with your phone um you must did a rewind did you rewind accidentally rewind it
Yeah, I'm trying to see if I got this in the other video. Yeah, I'm going to give you one second. Which it looks like you can't in your sleep. I don't know. I don't know. I might be. Everybody always asking that. Right because I was, you was reading. Oh, no, I'm talking about right now. I was, I was while well, I was looking for this. I was just uh, trying to copy his name. Sorry. I was trying to check on Barbara. She was, she was uh, asked her question. I was waiting for her to respond. My point should be going up by now. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm almost done with this. I got 10 rows. So I think I'm going to go with the 10 rows, guys. I almost have them done. Um, He said, Joe, do a recap, please. Okay, so yes, Barbara wants you to do a recap on that. Because she missed it. Oh, um, Lord. Dude, we're just talking about choices, Barbara, and what influences us to make certain choices. Because we're going to be talking about talking to the youth about different choices they make. We're talking about like what influences, like, is it the media, is it peers? And some people here were talking about, you know, different things. It could be peers, media, it could be our faith. Um, why do we make the certain choices while we do certain things? Um, and Will we choose to live free with God or will we choose to live um, in bondage? Um, and also, like, so far as a slogan, YOLO, you only live once. That's like, when that um, slogan came out, it seemed like a lot of people were just living that way. Oh, you only live once. So people were just talk, telling people how they felt without thinking about their reactions or the consequences. People were just, you know, spending up money frivolously, not even saving it or you know because they're like oh you only live once like there's no tomorrow you know people say oh live like there's no tomorrow so people just start spending money talking recklessly treating people rudely and because they're like, oh you know you only live once and then tomorrow comes now you don't have any money for certain things now you don't have you know the friends that you had because you talked to them rudely and you thought you were you know saying what came to your mind the first thing that came to your mind so you lost that you lost money you lost friendships um we we're just kind of talking a little bit about that and um, we're talking about, yes, so we're just kind of, you know, we're having a little, a little talk about just choices and, you know, what ways we were coming out of Romans 12, um, chapter, one, verses one, verses one through two. You want me to do this one? Well, it didn't get long, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can talk about now. We're not talking about, long. yeah, it's okay, because we're going to be doing about uh, uh, the three hour mark. Yeah, this still ain't like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really ain't. Yeah, What's that? This is all. Oh, okay. Is it? It's the war, yeah. Oh. You're getting killed. You're getting killed. Okay. I don't know what's underneath there, so I need to see. Not by you. All right. Did you, did you, you write down questions to go with it? I mean, I did this so long since so I did this. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. So, what if you just bust that yarn hall justification in the head? You just bust that yarn hall justification in the head. What happened? <laughs> Looks like you can do that. Oh, okay, yes. All right, y'all, let's talk about a real challenging topic. I mean, it's just, it's real challenging, especially for youth. Let's for youth. That's we run into a lot of youth, which is, and there's a lot of adults, too. Um, depression. It is a re, it's very important that many of students are likely at some point in their lives to struggle with depression in some form or another. However, there are still many misconceptions about depression. In fact, odds are that many of you reading. What happened? No, Denny said you get a wall water yet. No, not yet. Yep. So some, a lot of people, like I said, uh, you have to understand that many people struggle with depression. And there's one thing you need to know. You are not alone. Mm -hmm. Depression is not a sign of weakness or a lack of faith. Wow. It is a it is very important reminder to each of us that we are human. And for many amazing Christians throughout the centuries, 
Depression has become a struggle. Yeah. Yet, we as leaders must be the first to know, first to know, one, is to know the signs of depression, and two, to know when we or others need professional help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, John, I was bragging on you both today. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the love. Green. Okay. So I told my youth group, group or whatever, yeah, of yeah. course, it's not the time to nurse each room, nurse the wound, and it's definitely not meant to be a therapy session for the leader. But to spend time this yeah. week in prayer, yeah. doing wow. some real soul searching, mm -hmm. and evaluating if you indeed okay. sense that you are depressed. Wow. Next, spend time praying for the students. Next time, we're going to either spend time praying for yourself mm -hmm. and praying for the people that's around you. Let's see. Sorry about that, guys. So this week, we're going to be coming out of Psalm 40. The message. I don't got. I don't have my Bible around me right now, y'all, because I usually use my, my uh, phone or whatever. Let me see here. So in the night, Lorraine, sleep tight. God bless you as well. Thank you for hanging out with us. In 2015, an estimated 3 million adolescents ages 12 to 17 in the United States had at least one major depressive episode in the last past year. The number represented 12.5% of the U.S. population ages 12 to 17. Wow. But let me ask this. How many of you have not felt down or sad at all this past year? Wow, that's good right there. Can y'all answer that for me? Okay, good night, Miss Audis. 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 How many of you have not felt down or sad at all this past year? You have to be very serious with yourself. Ask that question, because I know I have. I read my Bible every day. I study. I do all of that. I mean, I'm in my word. I do my praise and worship. But there is times where the devil tries to come in. You just can't help it. How many of you have felt down or sad this past year? Just just anybody. You have or you have not? You have. Oh, okay. Or you have not felt down. I'm sorry. You have not felt down. Okay, so everybody said, my, my, I have. Yeah. Yes, I have too. Yep, I have too, definitely. I bet if we are honest, not one of us could say we haven't e ever had a down moment. Yeah, that's right. It's been a bad year. Yes, we all. We've been having. It's been a rough year. You are right. It's been rough. Now I'm gonna read that one more time. I said, if we are honest, not one of us could say that we haven't ever had a down moment. Wow. You know what that means? We are human. Wow. That's good. Have any of us seen seen the movie Inside Out? Anybody seen the movie Inside Out? Well, basically, it's a movie that presents a creative way to explain motions to kids. Mm -hmm. There is fear, greed, anger, sadness, and joy. Mm -hmm. It is a huge surprise to everyone in the movie to realize that sometimes joy and sadness can go together. Wow. Or that you can be sad and mad. Wow. The movie really brings home on the important reminder that our emotions are not bad. Wow. We are hu we are human and God made us to feel strong emotions. Wow, that's good. Just think about this past week for you. How many di different emotions did you feel? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Man. Wow. Well, I ooh, I can't even count. I had happiness, yeah. sadness, excitement. I had happiness, I excitement. Uh, not anger, but disappointment. Oh, that's good. I had disappointment. I had overwhelming. I felt like I, an overwhelmed feeling too. I, uh, stressed. I had a stress feeling. I had an overwhelming, overwhelming. I even had like a moment where I was like, dang, thing ain't happening quick. Mm -hmm. yeah, what was it? You were like anxious, impatient. Yeah, I wanted you that. All of that. Yeah, oh, I was man. feeling all that. I wanted all I that. I definitely was feeling anxious. Mm -hmm. 
And the only thing I could do was get in my word and pray. Because mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes I get those anxious feelings where I get overwhelmed. It's like, oh, I want to do this, I'm going to do that. And then it's just like, I can't get it done. But like Heather said, relief. Sometimes you get that feeling of relief, like, oh, I got something. Like, even last night, I got a feeling of relief because I actually did some work. I felt like, okay, I got this, uh, I got this channel. I want to do some tutorials. I want to do different things. I need to get some content. So last night, I was like, let me get a tutorial done, even if it's something simple. It doesn't really matter because I got friends who's ready to start to crocheting on a, on a, level so at least i'll be able to help some people that are on the beginning level and then i can still work with my people who want some intermediate stuff so i did feel a feeling of relief like i got some work done um shonda the question is um just think about this past week mm -hmm. for you how many different emotions did you feel yeah yeah, let's see. Everybody saying everybody send it frustration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you in the same way that yeah, exactly. It's like you want to do so much stuff, and some people say you can't count. And Diana said fear is a false evidence of being real. Yes, it is. That's right. what it is. That's exactly what it's right. Yeah, that's what it is. You said what emotions have you felt in the last week? Thank you, Heather. Heather was saying the um, question. Thank you, Heather, you so said, much. Especially, especially Joe. Exactly. I did a scripture writing plan last month at, about controlling our emotions. I had so many emotions mm -hmm. last month. It was not even funny. Wow, mm -hmm. I know exactly. We have like they do. They just go up and down. Mm -hmm. It's like you have so many because you want to do so many things. Yeah. So that's how that's how it is. As far as us being humans, you know, we're mm -hmm. not perfect. We're trying to make it to that point. Mm -hmm. But us being humans, it's just up and down. It's a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. well, Mary said, "Lonely." Wow. I'm um, sorry, Mary, that yes. you're lonely. I'm very sorry. We happy that you're here. We yep. all talk, and we all could be here for you. And, yeah, we could talk and try to take away your loneliness as much as we possibly can. Yes, yeah, keep it lifted up in prayer. Yes, you know. Yes, and so I said, God created us to feel emotions. Mm -hmm. The my the Bible don't use the exact word depression, but it uses word like downcast, wow, broken hearted, mm. trouble, wow, miserable, wow, despairing. And more and mourning among others. Wow, that's good. I think those words will fit for for depression, don't you? Mm. Don't y'all kind of think them words will fit for depression? Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. if you broken hearted, you feel that's yeah part of depression. Ooh, that's good, Diana. Ooh. As you see what Diana said? She said Satan knows my name, and that makes me happy because I, if he didn't know my name, then it would be then I would be doing his work and not Jesus' You're work. Right. That's good. It's, it is isolating and sad trouble on every hand. Wow. So the Bible also tells us about amazing men and women of God who truly struggled. Wow. Even Jesus expressed how deeply he hurt for others. Mm -hmm. He felt betrayed. He felt sad. Mm -hmm. He felt disappointed. Wow. He felt lonely. Mm. And guess what? He is God. Wow. I hope you I hope this helps you helps you Perfect. see. I hope, I hope this helps you to see is that God is going to be the last person to judge you mm. for feeling down because he knows. He knows and he created us to feel feel these uh different things. Feel deeply the way we feel. Wow. King David, you know that the kid wonder who killed a giant with some rocks and was the most amazing king of all time. Time for the Israelites. Hey, how are you I'm doing? Sorry I wrote this bag. Oh, you're fine. How are you doing, Karen and Brian? Welcome in. Appreciate you all. Yes, and she was saying anxious, anxiety, anxious, overwhelmed, happy, and you felt separation. Wow. I wrote this a long time ago, y'all, so my mouth was kind of... Yeah. King Day, I'll read that again. King Day, you know the kid wonder who killed a giant with some rocks and was the most amazing king of all time for the Israelites, right? Mm -hmm. David, the one who was called the man after God's heart. Do you think he struggled with feeling down? Let's see. Mm. So right at that point, we'll read Psalm 40. David wrote songs and prayers which express a wide range of emotions. Wow. Some are full of joy. Some are filled with raw words. Wow. What are some of the words that David prayed that stuck out to you? I need to get that right now. Joe, give me your phone and go to uh, Psalms 40. 
Huh? Give me your phone and go to Psalms 40. I don't feel like going to, like, going to get a Bible. Mm-hmm. Psalms 40. Mm-hmm. He's saying, yes, I'm Hearts, welcome. Yes, Five Hearts, I'm working on, I'm trying to be like you, Karen, and work on a, work on some granny squares. So I'm doing a yeah. bag. With granny squares, I'm doing a. I'm going to. I'm going to do a tutorial after this, I so I'm getting it. I'm doing like a little mock version of it, so I can get ready to know exactly how the tutorial will be. We need your mom not phone. Let's see what everybody's saying. I suffer from depression and anxiety, and I try to recognize it, and then pray or watch some watch anyone of the coaches in Christ replays. Oh wow, it's been helping. That's awesome. Ryan broke out in hives because he was allergic to medicine. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad he's okay. So, is it was this the first time you ever tried this medicine? I know some things like when you're using, you know, first time ever using it, it'll break you out, or if it's something you've never used before. Our son, well, he hasn't been allergic to any medicines, but he um has been having seasonal allergies, so he's been dealing with a lot of itchy eyes, throat, sore throats, scratchy throats, all of that right now, and just sneezing heavily, like he's. He's the most one, you know, the I think he's the only kid that we ever really have to deal with allergies. Joe gets them, but uh our kids never got them. All you said first and last time, oh that's good. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm glad that um he's doing better. And I'm glad you realized what it was. Cause sometimes you can take something, you don't know if it was food, you don't know if it was medicine, you don't know if it was something uh, maybe a tree or a leaf. You don't know exactly what it was, but I'm glad you realized it was a medicine, so that's yeah, good. I'm done. I'm going to read Psalms 40, guys, because it, it, I have to read it. I didn't want to read all this to you guys, but it's, it's needed. I said, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see in fear. And put their trust in the Lord. Relax. So, as I read that, um, David wrote songs and prayers which express a wide range of emotions. Some are full of joy. Some are are filled with raw words. What are some of the words that David prayed that stuck out to you? What are some of the words? The nine land the nine land land. Sleep site, they What are some of the words us. he said in there? Right. You want to read that again? Okay, so I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and feel. And put their trust in the Lord. Hey, Lala, welcome in. How are you doing? Every time you get live, you do that. Joe, you, stop going Joe, you can't, you can't play. play Joe, you can't play while we play live no more. You too loud. Yep, he heard my cry. You right, Barbara? Yes, yes, yes. You right. He's out waiting patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me. And heard my cry. Yeah, so he she also, put up the verse for yep. us. You doing okay? I'm glad to see that you're here tonight. We've been keeping lifted up in prayer. I hope you're feeling good. And if there's anything we can do, let us know. We're definitely here. Yes. Hey, Kiki, how are you doing? Welcome yeah. in. How are you doing tonight? We truly appreciate here, you girl. for being here. Kiki said hello. Huh? Hey, Kiki, how you doing? Mimi said hello as well. Hey, Mimi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just working on a granny square um, bag. I'm going to be doing a tutorial really soon. I'm trying to get a little bit, kind of get it started so that way I know exactly what the tutorial will be like once I'm done. And we've been talking about just feelings and um, going through depression and things like that. Uh, just knowing that we're human. We're going to go with do different feelings, especially when it comes through. I mean, within this year, we've all a lot of us went through different feelings about how we've been, you know, how this year's taken us a little bit. He said, took a potty break. My cat sat outside the door like he was protecting me from it. Oh, that's so sweet. So, why I look serious, what did I miss? Oh, we're just. Oh, no, we're just. We're, we're good. 
Yep, we right here and he heard my cry. Yes, okay, so you can use some prayers for your shoulder. Other than that, you're great. Okay, yes, we'll keep lifting up in prayer. I'm glad that you're doing great. How are the animals? How's the farming going over there? Okay, you ready? I'm sorry. I just let everybody come in. It is interesting that in this psalm, David seemed to go back and forth from feeling very down to then reminding himself that God is with him. This is really important thing to remember. It is okay to, to feel and to feel deeply. And there might be days where you feel like nobody cares or hears or understands. But if you leave this place knowing one thing, it needs to be this. God cares deeply about you and your feelings. Mm -hmm. There, These are the words that you need to remind yourself of when you find yourself in a place where you feel alone. Because we all will be there at some point in our lives. But know this, God is with you and he cares. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, I want to ask, I just want to ask a few questions. I'll say, which emotion do you struggle with the most? Which emotion do you struggle with the with the most? Fear, greed, anger, joy, or sadness? What is it? Fear, greed, anger, joy, and sadness? Or sadness. Which one do you struggle with the most? And why? Fear, greed. Fear, greed, anger, joy, or sadness? Mm. I'm going to say, oh, okay. Oh, copper pills and hooves trimming. Oh, you got, oh, yeah. You had a busy day. Okay, it says fear. Everybody's saying fear. Wow. So what are you fear? What are you fearful of? Like, what, what, uh, what makes you fear? Like, I don't know, anger. Okay, now it says anger. Is there certain things that get you fearful? Is it thinking about a family member or... Is it thinking about just how life is today? Is it about, you know, certain people? And you said sadness. Wow. You said, and it's a shame because the Lord says, do, do not, not fear. fear. Yes, he's right. He said he does not. Do not fear for yes. I am with you. Wow. He did not give us a spirit of fear. Right. You're so right. Yes, sadness, Lord. You said, guys, grief because of losing my daughter. And granddaughter and sister and mom in less than three years. Wow. Mm, wow. Yeah. And I mean, you have been dealing with it. I mean, I know you have your you have your times where you, you know, you cry out and you have your sadness. But I mean, you, I never seen someone so strong who, no matter what, I know you've been going through a lot. You still can influence other people so well and you can lift other people up. You have the ability, the ability to lift others up and encourage others despite the loss that you've had to deal with. So, wow. um, and that's powerful. Yeah. It's very, very powerful. powerful. Well, you can, you able to do that. That you able to lift up others throughout, throughout everything that you've gone through inside. I, God bless you. Ooh. Bless you. I, I truly, 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 truly applaud you for that. Ooh. I truly, truly applaud you for that. I know in my past y'all, I was talking about this on Tasha's channel the other day, but I used to be very angry. I know it's kind of hard to hard to uh, believe that kind of because of how I am now. But I used to be, I don't know if I was, and the thing is I grew up with everything. But I think I was, as I got, as I became an adult, I think I was angry because I used to get angry when I didn't get my way. I, I, I never, I Saying no to me was like somebody just stabbing me in the heart. And I would get so angry. I would get so angry for if a person said no to me. I mean, I felt like my world would end if somebody said no to me. I had to really ask God to deliver me from that. Like, I really had to ask him. That was like one of my major things. Because I, I didn't want to hurt my wife, y'all. I didn't. I mean, my wife could say something to me, I blow up. I mean, and it could be the littlest thing. And she was asking me, she's like, babe, why are you always getting, 
Why you get so angry? Why are you so mad? But I didn't know why. I had no reason. I I had no reason to be that angry. I just I never had no anger. Uh, no way. So I asked God. I said, God, please. I don't want to hurt the people around me. I don't. I don't want to be this way. Please help me. I know He's the only one who can help me. I grew up in church all my life, so I know you got you got to take this away from me. I can't. I can't. I don't want to live like this. Like I just don't want to be like this. God, fill me with joy and happiness as much as possible. I know we all gonna go through things. I know we all gonna feel certain ways or whatever. But I don't want to be angry. I just don't want to. I don't want to be. And I wasn't angry all the time. But if things didn't go my way, I just blow up. Right then there. Bam, just blow up. And I, I didn't want to be that way. So that was like one of my major things. Did yeah. you struggle with? We're angry, yes. Wow, that's good. Faith, faith, faith. It's, it's awful. I'm sorry. It sounds like that you're living the life of, a, of Joe. Wow. Yes. Yeah, she's a very awesome person. Yes. You said fear for me just comes out of nowhere. Don't need a reason. Wow. Grief because of the people you feel should be there for you is not that wow yeah that can break you down too if you're always there for people you're the person that's always giving and the person that's always you know the the go-to person and then when there's your time your time of need and you're like hey you know i need you know i need that time now i need that help as well and when it's hard for them to be there for you it's it's, it's hard when they're not there this anxiety stems from fear is the thing i fight the most wow yeah i used to stem i used to deal with a lot of anxiety um, it's not as bad as anymore, but I definitely, I know what you're saying with that anxiety, anxiety, I would get like anxiety attacks where I could barely even breathe, I would lose my breath, and I would get so like hyperventilate, I would like hyperventilate and everything, I used to get that anxious, so I know exactly what you're saying when you say that, I know exactly what you're saying, yes, you say exactly, yeah, I did the same thing. As far as I don't want to be angry, especially for no reason. Menopause doesn't help when it comes to feeling, oh, wow, Diana. Wow, you're right. You are right. When you, when you make up your mind, it's like you gotta make up your mind. I don't wanna, I don't wanna feel like this. When you when you make your mind up, a lot of times when you get ready to make up your mind, your body starts to react and say, okay, let me follow, let me follow what my mind wants. So sometimes you just gotta speak it. You know, you gotta declare, decree and declare so that way you can it can be manifested. Sometimes you don't speak it out loud. It won't happen, so you gotta speak it out loud. Sometimes you might be thinking it, but speaking and just say, "Oh, okay, I'm done with this now. I'm done with this behavior. I can't be mad no more." Okay, maybe I might. There might be a day where I get angry, or I might have a bad day, but I'm not gonna live a life of anger. I'm not gonna live a life of sorrow. I'm not gonna live a life of fear. I'm not gonna live a life of you know whatever else that you're feeling because once you say it and decree it and declare it, your your body will respond and you'll be like, "Okay, you know, you start manifesting that thing." So. The things that was making you angry, even if you didn't know it, it could have been TV shows. It could have been some of your favorite TV shows that might have just start bringing anger out of you. Um, you didn't even realize it. So now, all of a sudden, the TV shows get canceled, or you you sleep when it's time when the TV show comes on, or you try to record it and the recording got messed up. Things are going to happen now, so where you can't even see the show no more, you forget about it. You're like, oh, next thing you know, instead of that TV show being recorded, something else records instead, and you're like, oh, this is even better. Now it gets you into a happier mode or a cheerful mode, and that's how you feel. So sometimes it can happen like that but you gotta speak it i'm telling you when you speak it when you speak it and just say this is not how i'm choosing to do something different you know i'm choosing to do something different it's a big help yes mm, i know and everybody we we're talking about menopause man for anybody who's in here or anybody who's watching a replay or anybody who's coming in now we've been talking about menopause and these different feelings and not really being able to control them and it's a really hard thing when we're women we want to be able to control a lot, you know, and we're, you know, that's how we are. We're, we're a type of women that like to live in control. i um, not saying that we just have to be, uh, you know, everything, but we want to know, you know, what's going, what's going to happen and how to deal with it because we like to stay on top of things. And so with this menopause, we we're talking about and how for those who are going through it right now and who have went through it have talked about feelings, um, just having a lot of different feelings and don't really know how to deal with them. Being able to having to cry for no reason, anger for no reason, um, and it's just kind of hard having different hot flashes. We talked about that a lot tonight. You said, me, I understand. I lost several so close together, and I'm the only child, so I went to lost my mom and dad. I feel like I'm, I, I understand you're saying with that, Barbara. My first funeral was my grandmother, and so she was the one who raised me. So when I lost her, I was 17 years old, and I did get to say bye to her, but I just didn't know it was a bye. You know, I didn't know it was like a forever type of ordeal. I thought it was going to be 
just a see you later. I, you know, which I know is still see you later because I know we'll see each other again, but I just thought it wasn't going to be then and there. You know, and I had so many friends. I started getting like a little feeling of bitterness because I don't know if I ever felt like this. I had friends who were like, I'm 32. Well, I'll be 33, good Lord willing, August 28th. Um, and so I had friends that still had their grandparents. They're like, oh, I still got my grandparents. You know, I'm so, I'm just like, wow, I lost my, you know, I lost my granny at the age of 17. Y'all still have your grandparents and, you know, enjoy them. Like some, some of, you know, some of them enjoy them. Like seriously, get every recipe, get all the good advice, get everything that you can now, like get it because, I didn't get to do any of that. I didn't know I was going to, she was going to be gone. I thought, you know, I still had tomorrow, you know? So sometimes it's like that. And I understand that. Like my dad, I never got to say bye. Um, it still tears me up. I tell you all the time, you know this, but it still tears me up. I didn't get to say bye. I didn't get to say any of that. I didn't get to ask him any questions. He didn't get to walk me down the aisle. Um, he didn't get to do a lot of things that I wanted him to do. He didn't get to try my food. I didn't get to cook for him. Like there's things that I want him to, you know, he didn't get to see my crochet lifestyle is, See how creative I was. He didn't get to see any of that, you know? So, I know what you're saying. You said, I have to say it out loud. I forgive. Yes, when anxiety tries to remind me of, yep, there you go. There you go. There you go, Heather. Sometimes you got to do that. That's really good right there, forgiving. I had to do a whole word on that because I had to forgive my mom, and it was so hard for me to do it. And I told her, I said, you know what? Sometimes it's hard to say, I you know, I forgive you and it's hard to apologize. And sometimes it's hard to accept people's apologies when you know you don't feel like it's genuine. And I had a whole word about that. And I'm telling you, I had to speak that word and my mom was actually there that night when I spoke it and we actually reconciled, we hugged and we cried together. She was like, wow, like she never knew, you know? And like I was telling her, I said, you know what? Even though I was mad at her and I was hurt from the things that I felt like she didn't do for me, I didn't realize she was going through her own thing too. She was going through her own struggles, but I was a kid and I was young and I was immature and all I was, I was selfish. So all I wanted was, Oh, me, me, me. You're not here for me. You're not doing this for me. You're not there. And along, I mean, she's dealing with something for her to be out there either drinking and drugging. She's dealing with something to self-medicate. She's doing it for a reason. You know, she's not just drinking and drugging because it's a thing to do. She's doing it because she's trying to heal herself in a way that she only knows how. She doesn't know how to go to get help at this time. She just thinks, okay, let me just get this high or this rush that I'm feeling so that way I can ignore all the things that's dealing, that I'm dealing with. So I didn't know that. I was young. I didn't know that she was going through issues. So I didn't know how to go to her and say, hey, you know, help her. I was worried about me, you know, so I learned that as I got older, we made up, we hugged, and we made it, we got a lot better after we got to, like, the forgiving process. Wow, yes, la la. Mm hmm Wow. You just did that tonight, Sheila? Wow. Mm, but, <laughs> Lala says, menopause, rock, you love you, love you, Lala. Ooh, you said, a strength can be a weakness. Woo, usually an angry person has a high amount of justice in their personality mix. Wow, they would defend the weak. Woo, that's good. You're right. You said, hey, Miss Tina. Miss Tina's still here. Thank you so much. You said, I didn't get to say goodbye to my dad either. I was 17 years old. Wow, Diana, I know it's so hard when you don't get to say goodbye. I know, like, you know, I know we don't know when, you know, when it's our time or our family's time. But I'm telling you, that's that was a rough one. That was a really rough one for me. He said, I was in the room when my dad died. That doesn't make it any easier. Wow, no. Yeah, I wasn't in the room when my granny died, but I had just saw her earlier that day. She was in the hospital, mm -hmm. so she was like, you know, I'm going home today because she was living in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. But she was in um, the hospital the same day because she was getting treated for something. She was, she was a diabetic, and so she had taken all these different medicines. So she would go to the hospital a lot because, okay, they give you blood thinners. But, you know, if you're diabetic and stuff, you, you take blood thinners, it's going to make you where your blood, you steady going to be running and running. So they, it wouldn't clot. It wouldn't stop running. So she had to go to the hospital to try to help that. I mean, she was going through so many different things. So I went to the hospital with her and she was just like, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm feeling a lot better. She had been in there for a couple of days. She was like, oh, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm going home today. And I'm thinking she's talking about a nurse home, you know. And I, maybe that's what she thought she was talking about. I don't know. But she's like, I'm going home. So I'm like, okay, you know. Well, we, you know, I had to go to work. I ended up going to work today. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay. So I gave her a hug and a kiss and everything like that. And I was at work. I'm like, ooh, sorry, y'all. I wasn't breathing. My, I was at work. My mom called. She was like, oh, you know what? She's like, your granny gone. I was like, what? And it was crazy. I ended up getting off work early. And then we went to the hospital. And, you know, I ended up giving her a kiss. And I made her a promise. I said, I'm going to finish school. Um, whatever I do, no matter what, I'm gonna get my education. I'm like, I'm getting my education. You're gonna, I promise you that. I made her promises that right there, 
right there on her bed, you know, and um, she was cold. I remember kissing her on the cheek, and she was just so cold, and I never felt that before, but I told her, like, I'm going to finish school, I'm going to get my education, I'm going to college. I told her all these different promises, and I did it, because I was like, I made that promise to her, you know? Um, let's see, you said that one thing I thank God for, my dad died suddenly, but I rushed to New York, and when I went to see him, he was sleeping. When I went downstairs, something told me to go upstairs. Wow, you swear I would. You swear I walked through the door, and he jumped up and told me several things. When I said, I'll see you tomorrow, he asked me for a kiss, and he said, this is what God wants for me. Wow, he died the next day. Wow, the doctor said he'd been... Waiting for you. What? Wow. Mm -mm. All the doctors knew that. That is so amazing. Like, he was waiting for you. Wow. Mm. That was a clip. Wow. That was, that was a clip. Mm -mm. Oh, that was Sorry, guys. I'm crying right now. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm a big cry, baby, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I love you, too, says Dorbeth. Oh, my goodness. Try not to go crazy here, y'all. But, man, you know, it's not, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. I just kind of get a little sad sometimes, but. I know, I know, it had to happen. And we gotta be able to deal with, you know, we gotta go through grief. I mean, to be able to help other people. It's always good to cry it out. The best thing to do is to cry it out at all. You never mm -hmm. want to hold that in. Yeah. That's a part of the emotion that God gave you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what we were just talking about emotions. You gotta be able to, to, to get that out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, said, yeah, I got me crying now. Tasha, she crying too. Hugs, yes. I love you too, Shonda. Thank you so much for the love. I love you all. Why, why you I know I'm crying, baby. You see me? Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. Me and Tasha both. <laughs> me and Tasha both be crying a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, we love, we know it's nothing like loving your family member. You got a close family member and losing them, man. It's just like, like, like Donna said, you can still be right there with them and saying goodbye to them and give them that last, see their last breath. It doesn't mean it's going to make it any you easier. Know. You know, it doesn't mean that. But I love, I just love, I always tell my kids, I always try to remember all these good positive memory that's my favorite thing to do like if i if it's just about the type of cereal or music or activities i always try to think of something positive to keep the happy memories going that's my main goal i love to do he said the day that my dad died i was standing in the middle of walmart crying over a bag of essential oh wow mm. wow that's so heartbreaking. I remember my dad died. Um, I didn't even know. Like I was at home. I had just had my own apartment, and I kept on getting calls. Like the whole day, I was getting calls, and I'm like, I kept on getting calls, and my mom just kept calling over and over again. Like I felt like he was. For some reason, I knew his time was coming, because his health was failing him. He was on dialysis, and he didn't like going. So he would go whenever he felt like going. He felt like whenever he felt like his body was getting real down. He would go dialysis is like, okay, I need to go re, you know, revamp or something. But it was times he didn't want to go. And so I knew his health was failing him or whatever. So I knew what would happen. And for some reason that day, I just knew he was gone. Everybody kept calling him and I didn't answer the phone. Like everybody, like my mom, she was calling, calling, calling. I'm like, why is she calling all the time? Like usually she might either be asleep or whatever. She, why does she have this much time to call? She was calling and calling. And then me and Joe were living together at the time. Um, and so he ended up coming over and knocking on the door. I'm like, what's going on? Like, he was like, babe, call your mom. I'm like, no, I'm not calling my mom. I'm like, what, what happened? He was like, babe, call your mom. I'm like, no, I'm not calling her. I'm not, I'm not. Just tell me, babe. Just tell me what happened. He was like, I was like, just tell me what happened. Just tell me what happened. You know, is he gone? And um, he was like, yeah, he's gone, babe. And he just hugged me. And he just squeezed me, and we just hugged, and I just cried because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for an answer. I know I knew the answer, but I wasn't ready to hear the answer. But it was just like that, and I talked to my brother, and he was just like, it was a weird thing because he was at his dialysis appointment. The security guard was there. I don't know if they got to an argument or miscommunication. And next thing you know, the security guard had my dad wrestled down to the floor, and I don't know if he was in, if he put him in, locked him up. I don't know what happened. Like, we never still don't, to this day, don't know exactly what happened. And I don't know if he was in a jail. Was he in a jail cell? Was he in a holding cell? I don't know what happened. But he ended up passing away. So we don't know exactly what even, like, the real, like, what happened. He said, my dad was waiting for time, was waiting for time with my husband and firstborn before he passed. Wow. Massive hearts. What? 
Zach and was in ICU. He came in from California to since like wow. Mm. Yes, God's healing session. Yes, me and your hubby. And do you know the song "It's All Right to Cry" sung by Rosie Grant? It's hard to cry. Mm, I'm probably so, maybe so. Brian asking Joe. I don't know. You know that song? You might know that song. You might have to listen to it and see. It's so hard we can't play music on here to just get a quick glimpse to hear it without them saying something. So one of Dad's favorite snacks that was that he wasn't supposed to eat. But we sneak him a bag on occasion. Wow, so you sneak him a bag of chips and you're like looking at them chips like, this is dad's favorite snack. Yeah, as you've been here lurking and listening, thank you so much, sis Dorbeth, for love. You said my stepdad wanted to die at home, and he did. I had a dream that he needed to see me one more time. I held his left hand and talking to him, and he ended up passing away that day while I was holding, wow, oh, while he was holding his hand, wow. Hmm. He said the Bible says he wouldn't put more on us then we can bear. I lost my parents six months apart. Mm. But what it seems unbearable, God blesses us to bear. You're right, Sheila. Wow, that's wow. That's some rough stuff right there. And you're right, six months apart. And that you are very strong, very, very strong woman. Very strong. Hug your rib, Joe. He said, Hope you're feeling better. Oh yeah, is your cry baby too? Hugs her, Joe. Everybody's not hugging. We can't. He said, God didn't allow me to be there. With neither one of them. They passed away the day after I seen it. Wow. Again. Correction. Rosie game. Greer. Oh, Rosie Greer, the football player. Rosie Greer, football player. I don't know. Wow. Yo, give me some tissue with my own eyes. He said, but I'm so I'll grateful that my game. last words to both of them was I love you. Wow, that's good. That's what I always try to tell everybody. Just don't forget to tell your parents that you love them. And let that be your last word before you see them. You know, last thing. Let's let that be the last thing you tell them. I don't care if, it's, if you're on the phone for a quick session or if you just see him, you know, and I'm even teaching our nephews and our nieces that our nieces and nephews never used to say that to their parents or to anybody. And now that's like they love saying it. it's like a common thing, but they, they're being taught. And so that's what you've got to do it. And go to the hot dog and freeze them. It says, my dad went to the hospital with a rash on his arm on a Friday. By Sunday, he was in ICU. Monday, mom was looking for his DNR. On her C her POA that had a clause so that Tuesday, we gather the family. Wow. Mm, okay, that's the song right there. Okay. You said, oh, he was still holding his hand. I had to close his eyes and do the ceremony for him, and there was feathers falling from the out of nowhere, and there was nothing around with feathers. Wow. Yep. That was that, he was that was him. It was his present, and Dad was gone within 15 minutes of them taking him off the machine. Oh. Wow, my son rubbing my face because I'm crying now. He like, you ugly when you cry. Uh-uh, I need to teach him how to talk to a woman because that's not it. No, what about come on, Jeremiah. No, when mommy cry, you can't tell her she's ugly. You want some today? Yeah. He said my mom had a bad day one day and a feather came down out of nowhere. Wow. Mm. That could. was him. That was him. This is a tough subject for me. That's right. a tough subject for you, I mean, son. This is tough for me. You never really talk about it. You never talk about it. You see, you need to talk about it too, man. Mm -hmm. You can talk about when your dad. Yeah. You, you want to tell anybody what happened? You sure you want to share? Huh? Everybody else sharing? Come on. Mm -hmm. Maybe another time? Maybe another time. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing I've learned is. The veil between here and heaven is very thin. I send messages to my mom and grandma through Jesus. Wow. That is so good, Karen and Brian. That is really, really good. He said, later down the line, God dealt with me how much your last words mean. Ooh, wow. You're so right. He said, I think the hardest part was since my son couldn't get there, I had him on the phone and put it on speaker so he could say goodbye to his grandpa. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, that's hard to have to say that over a speaker. Oh goodness. He said Lucky is great at licking my salty tears. Oh. Hugs Joe. So Dorbev says Hugs Joe. It's okay. Thank you. Thank it's you. okay that you're not ready. Yeah, it's okay. So Joe's not ready. It took me now to talk wow. Yeah, no, it's a it's a wild thing. That's hard to talk about it. Especially, you know, Joe lost his dad at the age of five years old, you know. He was in kindergarten, so you know that's hard. 
You got a good bond with your dad, like a good bond. They had a great bond, and being in kindergarten, you know, that's a hard thing. That's really really hard. He was in the ass. Oh. Oh. You ugly crying now, Donna? Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, but you, you share more. You had to share a letter with us, huh? Mm-hmm. When you're ready, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes that's hard, y'all. I didn't mean to get into that, y'all. Yeah, I I did not mean to get in that, but you no, know. You're fine, you're fine, baby. But I, I, do feel, I do feel a lot better after getting that crap on me. I do feel a lot better from getting that out. Wait, how tall is you? And potato, baby. How tall is you? Are you done with that tonight? Yeah, I'm done with that. He's so cute. He's so cute. Yeah. Um, okay. Let <laughs> I me mean, tear my face up a little bit, but yeah, y'all. I, I didn't need to get that cry out, but wow. Ooh. Yeah, it's good to get out. It is. It is good to get out. Sometimes we need, you know, sometimes we, sometimes we gotta get those tears out, those cries out, and uh, he said, "Dad, one time asked me when I when can I get a bottle of water." And I jokingly said Tuesday. So after that, anytime he was thirsty, he'd say, is it Tuesday yet? He died on the Tuesday. Wow, you were 17 here. Sister was five. Yeah, I was... I can't remember how old I was. What was I, 18? My, my granddad was 18, so. Yeah, I was 18. I want to say 17. Yeah, I was 17. Yeah, I was 17. I want to say 17. Yeah, I was 17. Joseph was 4. So what was I, 21 or? 21 or 22, or something like that. Your cousin? Yeah. I think it was like 21 or 22. Look at the phone. Focus, phone. Yeah. <laughs> You know, sometimes the lighting be doing it. Yeah, I had a younger sister. My younger sister was 2009. She was born in 2002. So that had to be, what, nine take away two is seven. So she was seven years old. Yep, she was seven. And she took it really hard. She ended up singing a song. What song? She sung a um, Hannah Montana song. Mm -hmm. And, um, Mm -hmm. And that was really hard for her. She still struggles with that. Um, but we have different moms, so um, I try to kind of lend an ear to her and show her some love. But her mom has kind of let her do her own thing, which is kind of hurts my heart because, you know, when she used to come over and visit, I would try to be a mother to her. I was, I mean, she's still my sister, but her and my daughter are the same age. They're like six months apart, so it's kind of hard for me not to be a mother at the same time. But um, her mom kind of let her do her own thing, and so her grieving process is super hard right now. She does not know how to deal with it. She doesn't know how to deal with the sad feelings and the thoughts. She kind of, it kind of turns into yeah. anger. She ran, actually, she's ran to boys mm-hmm. to feel that boy that, 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 uh, that my father-in-law always yep. was there because he was there. Yeah, he was he there. He was there just like, no, you know, he was there for yeah. young. Mm-hmm. He was there. He was like there in the house. Like she knew mom and dad in the house. That was it. And he, you know, taught her a lot cooking and he did a lot of stuff, you know, like, so. She, I have to, you know, I'm trying to help her with that because she does, so, she does not deal with grief. Um, she doesn't. She just turned 18 in April, so she don't. She don't really not deal I'm with like it like that. So it's gonna kind of keep her lifted up because you know, it's a struggle. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it is. Like it's, it's tough. Yeah, it is. Real tough. I mean, like I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I just my main thing is I never used to grieve at all. I would just act like the person. I always tell people I always just put it in the back of my head like the person was out of town or. With my, with, with my dad's situation, it was just so sudden. Like, just, yeah. It's so sudden. Like, I don't know. It's just I don't like really think about it that much because it's just so odd. We was just all sitting there and everything was good and 
Like, I mean, we had just got done playing. Me and my just got done playing, and everything was good. Then he, my mom had cooked dinner, and he called me in the room, and we was talking. He always would play with me while he was laying in the bed and we played. Then all of a sudden, uh, my mom, like I said, fixed up dinner. We were sitting there. Then he asked for something to drink, and he was fine. Then maybe, I want to say... Five minutes later, he had a massive heart attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, but did you find him or your mom did? I found him. Wow. I ran out of the room. I said, Mom, something wrong with Dad. Something wrong with Dad. And my mom went in there and called the ambulance and came out. And my mom my mom was just crying and screaming. I wanted to know what was going on. Wouldn't nobody let me know what was going on. Um. Uh, he ended up going to the hospital or whatever. So. But, like, my mom, like, knew down in our, deep down in her heart that he was already dead. And he was, he was, he was deceased before he had left the house because my mom felt or whatever. But they always told her that he yeah, passed away in the hospital. But my mom always still feel like that. He was like, passed away right. before he left. Well, it was just, just like somehow just, you know, just crazy to think about. Like, yeah. yeah. Not, like I said, I think about it, but I don't, you know, I try not to dwell on because I don't, I don't know. I was so young, it was so hard to even understand. Like, mm-hmm. how could you go from there within a five minute time period? Like, yeah. That's what my mom it took. My mom so long to try to grieve during that, mm-hmm. during that process. She just never understood. She never understood. like right now. My mom still goes through that in her mind because she don't know why herself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even though my mom is still remarried, my mom's still thinking about my dad every day. Like you know. Mm-hmm. And my, my stepdad is like a really good guy, like a really good guy. But yeah, still, like she always said, there'll never be another Joe McCloud. So I just, I don't know. I just think about it. I'm like the carbon copy of him, so I mean, it's meant. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm him, but man, I just think about that every day. Like, man, what if, you know what I'm saying? What if? I got the fucking feeling, feeling. It's okay, man. I think I think I, I wanted to steal it, but didn't get to the man. Oh yeah, cross, cross, cut. Go strong. Go strong, okay. camera. What I tell you, go strong. Go strong. Go. I'm good, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Everybody say it's starting to love you. I love y'all too. You're 50, bro. Yeah, let the healing begin. Yes, you're so right. Yeah, I just I can't imagine that just being so young like that and just. Yeah. It was just like, I don't know, it was like a perfect situation though. Everything was like perfect. Mm-hmm. I just, me and my mom never understood like what happened. Like, what happened? Uh, how he went from just everything was good. Yeah, to we was gone. just playing, we was laughing and joking. And the crazy thing about it, y'all, like the first five years, my dad was always there for me, one hundred percent, there for my mom. But my dad dealt that with drug uses, like so, like he was never in and out. He was always there, but like the the six, like six or seven months prior to that, no, he was off of me. Let me take, I take that back. My mom always say fifteen months prior to that. He was like this perfect dad and husband. My mom had dealt with like abuse and all that stuff beforehand. I never seen none of that stuff. Maybe a couple of times, but I never seen it. But I, I seen it a few times. I know she went through it because of his drug abuse. But the 15 months prior to that, he was like this perfect dad and perfect husband. Then we finally get him perfect dad and he gone. Where that I just turned 58. My dad passed with a heart attack at 58. Wow. Mm. Believe me. So heartbreaking. Yeah, both of me and Joe's dads both died at the age of 43. <clears throat> he said, my dad 
I lost my dad, my grandfather, my peepee and my stepdad, all my father figures. Wow. Mm. My dad lives on my father figures? Wow. Like, cause I don't call my dad, I don't call my stepdad, stepdad. That's my dad. Yeah, he called me, yeah. That's my dad. Like, my dad, he's my dad. Like, mm -hmm. literally. You know what I'm saying? I miss my dad, but that's my dad. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he's 81, guys. Mm -hmm. Are they good? 81 years old. Yes, Doing yes. well. Gets out, do, does Take his walks, walks every day. Every day. Like he's doing very well for himself. Yeah. Yes, the loss is terrible. You're right. So I wish I was there to give both of you a big hug. Wow, thank you, Sheila. We wish you were here too. So mom died when I was 15 because of a drunk driver hit her motorcycle. Single mom. I never forget. Opening the door, running to her room to see if she was there. And she was. Oh, man. I can imagine that. Because of somebody else being man, there. Man, somebody else that's not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's heartbreaking. You want to tell mom to go say good morning or whatever it may be. And they, you can't even say that. My life was changed forever. Wow. Uh, keep you lifted up, Scarlett. We'll keep each other. We all got to keep each other lifted up, y'all. Uh, Diana said, Joe, we love you. We love you, too. Rhonda says, just want to say thanks for your prayers for my son, Aaron. Wow. My sister, Shonda, told me, oh, pray for him. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Much love. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for the love. And you are so welcome. Always, always welcome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for just the awesome comments and the, um, just the support. Sorry you came in on the crying session tonight or this morning. He said, we never know what things happen, why things happen the way they do, but God does. Why are you right? And Donna says her dad was 82. He said, my baby brother was so young and mad, so angry that he didn't have his dad to come to watch him play basketball or sing in choir or see him graduate. Wow, you're right. That, that's heartbreaking. You're right. It is. I don't know if I had the anger, but I was really heartbreaking because I really wanted my dad to see. Like, I was a daddy's girl. Um, you know, even though, like, my dad, he wasn't always around because he had a lot of kids. He did. He was. He had a lot of different women. He had a lot of kids. But um, he didn't have, like, a ton, ton of women, but he still had, he had a nice amount of women. But um, it just hurt because... It just hurt because, like I said, he, he, I was a, I was a daddy's girl. When I did see him, he made sure we had fun. We did activities. He taught me something. It was always that time. So, like you said, like I just wanted to have that little daddy time. I wanted him to learn me and know me as I got an adult. I wanted him to see, ah, look, you know. I wanted him to see what I grew into being. So, it kind of hurts when you can't so, like, look at me. I want you to see me. You know, as a, as a kid, if y'all think about, like, when you're a kid, any kid, like if you even kids now, if they don't even know you, kids want attention. Kids will say, hey, look, look, watch me do this. If they kick in the air, or if they do a flip, or if they catch a lightning bug, they say, look at me, look at this, watch, yeah. watch me do this. And you done watch them 15 times with the same thing. They still want you to watch them for the second, the, yeah. the 30th time. They want you to see it again. Look at me, look, look what I can do. And they want that attention. So it doesn't get, it doesn't change because you're an adult. You still want to say, hey, dad, look at me do this. Hey, mom, watch me do this. Well, and some, sometimes yeah. it hurt because they can't do that. And sometimes we might have parents who are actually present, but they still we still can't cry. We can cry out to them as much as we can. They still won't look. But when we had that parent who was always looking, who was always attentive, and who was always wanting to see us, and they're not, no longer here, it really, it really hurts. Thank you. God says, God's ways are higher than our ways. Wow. Yes, you're right. Mother's 82. Outlived three hubbies. Wow. Strong woman. That's what we do. That's what we do. Because steps are what you walk up. But I was saying stepdad some, so people could understand. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. Hey, Zach, happy birthday, Zach. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zach. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
birthday, Zach. Happy birthday, Zach. I don't know if you're still here, but happy birthday. People been cutting onions all day. I've been on OVW most of the day in live, so yep, onions got cut. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord, Rhonda. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord, brother. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody show some love. Yes, birthday boy in the house. My dad was instrumental in me playing a flute. Wow. We were independent fundamental Baptists at the time. And mom was afraid of me learning devil music. Dad said, let her learn. She can play hymns. Wow. Mm. Isn't that amazing? That is so good. My dad my dad was really big on music, too. Yes. And Zach says, thank you, Joe and Dana and everyone. You are so welcome, Zach. Zach said, thank you, babe. You're very welcome, Zach. Sorry, I'm not turning my back to y'all. I don't got nothing in front of me to cut. Yeah. And I'm cutting bell pepper over here because I'm about to make a little small pot of chili right quick. What are you going to do with the chili? I'm going to make some chili, dog, but I forgot to eat bread. <laughs> I just thought about it. Well, I guess we got to eat chili. We got crackers. So we got crackers. It was going to have chili dogs, guys. We have no buns. <laughs> no buns. <laughs> I just thought about it. I'm like, dang. I'm about to break out the, oh, we'll say break out the bread machine, but the yeast that we got is no good. So. And the yeast at Martha's is just, I can't get up two weeks ago. What, $10? Good night, no, I only had packets. Oh, my God. What are the jars? I need some jars of yeast, y'all. I don't know what happened to the yeast in y'all stores gone. Yeah, we have like no yeast in our stores. There's right no here. yeast, y'all. We've been looking for yeast. Joe's been wanting to help homemade elephant ears. I made one up, but I used some pizza dough yeast, and it didn't rise up enough, so it was really not the best. Um, so I can't find any yeast. We need active dry yeast. Can't find any. Hey, Lene, how are you doing? Welcome in. How you feeling? Ooh, chili. So what time is dinner? LOL. Dinner will probably be about an hour. <laughs> About an hour down, they said I grew up using a slice of bread as a hot dog. I'm like, yeah, I don't even think we have any slices don't have of bread. Any bread. I, don't, I wish I did have some bread. We have it bread. don't matter. I don't care what I use. It's yeah. bread. Yep. I, I use I use a hamburger bun for a hot dog. It don't matter to me. Exactly. I wish we had. We don't have any. But the last bread we used was yesterday. We had, um, what we had chicken yesterday. We ate it with bread. But I wish we, and I, I would, like I said, I would use the bread machine if we had yeast. We don't have any yeast. I would be over there. Do we have some? We don't have any. Barbara, we are so low. Without having a vehicle, you know it's different when you got a vehicle because you can do one of those big shopping trips where you can just go through every aisle, but you can take your time. But the thing is, she like to do that. And I like to go to the store every day. What do y'all like to do? Do y'all like to shop every single day for whatever else? But it depends on the sales. Yeah, I like to go every day. I like to go to the store. I like to go to the store too, babe. But like for dry dry goods, I need to go get everything. I need to go through all the store. I need to get syrups. I need to go get Flowers and sugars. I need to get like if I want to get box potatoes or little instant quick meals for the kids if they want tuna noodle casseroles, little quickies, um, all that kind of stuff. Little stuff that they can make up rice krispie treats with and cereals. I want to go get this uh, big bag of cereal or boxes of cereal. I want to go get milks and chocolate chips. I want to get all this type of stuff. And then every day we can go back for meats and water. Uh, you know the big things of water, bread, eggs, different stuff like that. Let's see what everybody's saying. Um, okay, let me see what everybody's saying. Yes, God is so good. Isn't he so good? God is so good. He is. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've been doing. And thank you for this brand. I'm so glad he just brought us all together. We can chat and have a good time. You know? He said, like, yep, I made chili tonight, and I was thinking how good it would be with green peppers. We're on the same wave. Oh, yes, yep, that's what y'all That's Heather. Heather said she Heather, was I can't, I can't make chili without green peppers. Not with green peppers. I, mean, I really think it's just, I was going to make chili last night, and I had an onion. I said, baby, it ain't gonna taste right. Like, mm -hmm. and I like a lot. Mm -hmm. I like for them to cook down the hamburger mm -hmm. real good. Gives the chili like a really, really good flavor. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna make a bunch of chili because I gotta cook like a bunch oh, of food God. tomorrow yeah. for stuff. Man. So I'm not gonna make a bunch of chili. I gotta make food for my mom's birthday. Yeah. You, know, you know, she's having that birthday, the 70th awesome. birthday party. 70th also. birthday party. That she we gotta get cooked. Cook. We gotta get to cooking tomorrow, guys. Yeah. So, tomorrow gonna be a big day. So I'm gonna be making okay. spaghetti, baked mm -hmm. beans, mm -hmm. green beans. Potato salad, corn, and I'm gonna do rib tips and chicken. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then what about sweets? I don't even, I don't even, gotta stop I don't even know if we're gonna do any sweets. I'm not sure yet. I'm not gonna put that much stress on me. If we do, I'll bake a couple cakes or something. Okay. Something simple like that, but I'm not, we're not gonna do put a lot of stress on us. So we already gotta do that. Mm -hmm. no. Donald says, cut them dogs up into the chili. That's smart. Because that's what Joe usually does. Joe will, will break off his dog in his chili and just eat like a bowl, just like that. My mom crocheted and knitted. Now I'm doing it. I just wish she was here to see it. Ooh, I know, Sheila. Ooh. I know. I wish my granny could see, like, my crappy side. Like, she got her sister to send me 
her sister and her niece to send me books and yarn to learn the steps of crocheting. And I remember I showed my great aunt that I could crochet and I didn't really do much. I just did like a little crochet long panel and sewed it up together, made a purse and made this long handle, which was cool. Um, and I was still young, but my, my great aunt was kind of like, she didn't give me like a little rudeness look, but rest in peace. But she kind of looked like, okay, you know, but man, if she could see me now, making clothing and wearables and because i mean even though yes but see the thing is my aunts my great aunts so they did a lot of like uh blankets and things like that curtains and different little things they didn't do any clothing okay. so if i could just show them uh, the clothing everybody like what i don't know what you're saying sheila you said my bread was green lord yes mine was too our bread was green too since door bread we had some of that good sunbeam giant bread i don't know if y'all got that there but we got sunbeam giant bread and i love sunbeam it's so soft and it's so big and fluffy and delicious it's a little penny yeah. for us though because it's for depending on where your state is at two dollars for one loaf is a lot for me yeah, that bird might i mean i'm using my work in that machine though i saw my finger it might no oh, that's why i say and i gotta go use the bread machine to make no, bread. I, use the bread. I make the bread Oh Lord! Last time he made bread, y'all, it was heavier than the machine. I'm gonna have, I stick to the bread making. Last time he made bread, y'all, it was not that bad. Last time he made bread, y'all, <laughs> it was not that bad. I could use it to put it on my son's bar, uh, basketball rim to hold it down so it wouldn't wiggle. <laughs> he said, "Well, my birthday is every day. I wake up breathing. So I, can Joe sing happy birthday every day? <laughs> oh my goodness." Yeah, well, he gonna, he's always saying happy birthday to everybody who has birthdays. And that's his little thing that he does. And, um, you know, show some love to everybody. No so, mom and I get paid every two weeks, so we get grocery shopping. Okay, every two weeks. So, I, okay, that's good. So, that's how they do it. They like to shop every two weeks. Who do that? That is Donna. Okay. Yeah, everybody's saying, so I get stuff, I get stuff at least at the same time, less trips. Okay. You get stuff all the at the same time. Yeah, exactly. I like less trip. You said today's plans are in the morning. I one gift, open one gift. The afternoon is free to do anything. Then evening going to take out to take out and eat down by the park and then cake in a movie. What? Okay. And Zach, you got your months paid. You got your couple months paid up on your Netflix, so you're gonna be good with that. Oh yeah, Zach, you good. You said in Germany the fridge was so tiny. Like a like a, just a bit larger than a dorm fridge. What? The Germans go to the market every day. Oh, wow. He said, mm, I do that with my spaghetti sauce. What? Oh, yeah. He said, no way. I'm on, I'm the online Walmart shopper. Easy pick. Oh, I like that. I never did that before. Baby, we should try that one. I've never done that, Barbara. So how do you like it? I mean, can you pick what brand you want? Or, I mean, you probably can pick whatever you want. You can pick whatever you want and just pick, pick it up. And just pick it up. Wow, I never thought. See, that sound. Would you ever try that, babe? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try it, but I don't know if I would try it like with ice cream and stuff, because I want to make sure my ice cream don't melt. But I mean, you got to be there on time then, right? Yeah, but how didn't? How would you know if your ice cream was not going to melt, though? Because they're going to give it to you, like, when you get they're going to know what. Well, how long I mean, so when you get there, they're going to go get the ice cream. Like, as soon as you get there, they're like, okay, hold on, ma'am. I got to get your ice cream. I didn't put it in the bag yet. Yep. I, I hope they do that. Or milk. He oh, said, my brother eats bread so much. Our, ours never goes bad. Oh, wow. We used to, it's like, we had those times, y'all, where we eat bread like that, and it'll last us for a while. And then we have, I mean, we'll, it'll go to the kids. Oh, I'm making, I'm making, uh, what's it be making, man? Babe, the thing is about that bread, it wasn't supposed to go bad for another week and a half. Oh, it wasn't? Mm -mm. It might have got too hot? Yeah. It probably got too hot, y'all. Because I was about to say that bread shouldn't have expired yet. But the kids, they go through these stages, oh, grilled cheese or PB&Js or all kind of stuff. So usually it doesn't, it usually we don't have much. And everybody said, look, heavy bread, Lucy and Ethel, <laughs> happy birthday to your mind, y'all. Oh, thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you. Good night, Mimi. We love you. So you're talking like the bed bugs might be blessed. Thank you for always supporting us. If you buy ice cream, they store it in the freezer. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's what I was wondering. So Dana, I have been bragging on your and Joe singing to my sis. Can you sing for our song? Oh, sure. We got to figure out a song to sing. Because mm -hmm. Ronnie never got to sing. Shonda's been bragging about your voice and us singing and everything. And she never got to hear you sing anything. While wow, they're still here, we don't care for the same small song. Bring him here, time for bed. Okay, good night, Zach. Sleep tight and let the bed bugs bite. Thank you so much. You say yes, as long as they have it. Good night, Mimi. Yes, good night. Um, I'm going to figure out a song. I wish I could think of a song. Uh, give me a mic. 
Something that's you made a way. Okay. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. You move mountains. You cause wars to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Mm, that's it? Yeah. Mm, I'm going more. That's good. Okay, calm down. You move mountains. Come on now. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here. Only because you made, and we're standing here. Only because you made, and we're standing here. Only because you made, you move mountains. Yes, you cause walls to fall with your power. Yes, perform miracles. There is nothing yes. that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made. And we're standing here nice only one, because you made. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Yes, that's good. Good night, sister Lord Beth. We love you so much. Thank you for the love and support, and thank you for always hanging out with us as well. All right, and also Diana's asking. She has a request. Huh? I know you do sing this song a lot, but is there a way you can just sing a little bit of it? Oh, okay, yeah, you're gonna print your labels off. All right, that's good. I gotta do some printing tonight as well. Gotta print off some paperwork, y'all, so I can be able to start sending out some goodies. I'm gonna be sending out some goodies, so I gotta get some labels and stuff sent off as well. This is my first time ever doing the labels, y'all. I don't. I'm used to just going up to the post office, so this is my first time. I'm gonna try it and see how it works, y'all. Um, you want to sing? I give myself away just a little bit of it. You know, you know, Diana. That's Diana's song. She wanted to just hear a little, a little tad bit of it. Yes, he did. Always makes a way. Yes, yes, yes. You're so right, Rhonda. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can, so we can, so we can All right, he's about to sing it. Here you go, Diane. He's gonna sing it. Yes, good night, sister. We love you. Sleep tight. Everybody who's gonna sleep, we love you all. Good night. All right, Jones. Hang it. Okay, you want to take me? That's your time. Jones, I need you to chill. Um, that's why you're going to be lost. I'm not playing no more. Yeah, it's not going to be playing no more. I give myself away. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, God. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh, God, 
I give myself away so you can use me. Here I stand. Oh, I'm sorry. Here I am. Here I stand. Lord, my life is in your hands. Lord, I'm longing to see your desires revealed in me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh God, I give myself away so you can use me. Take my heart. Take my life as a living sacrifice. All my dreams, all my plans, Lord, I place them in your hands. I give myself away. Mm. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Mm. I'm losing my voice. No, I'm I give myself away. So you can use me. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you. To you I belong. I give myself to you. I give myself. I give myself to you. Oh. My life is not my own. To you. To you I belong. I give myself to you. I give myself. I give myself to you. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together. All together worthy. All together. All together wonderful to me. Here I am. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that. You're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. That's it. That's it. All right, everybody, show some I love. Give Yes, yes, yes. You said sing us oceans. <clears throat> Super favorite. I don't know. Sing us oceans. I don't know if I know that song, Jeannie. Welcome in, Jeannie. Yeah, Welcome in, Donna. How are y'all doing? Yeah, Welcome in. 30, 30, Just singing a little bit. He says, yes. You miss your bedtime? Yes, Jeannie. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. here as well, y'all. So I'm moving. Thank you so much. Yes, you're so welcome, Rhonda. We appreciate you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shonda, for inviting your sister in to come on and hang out. Thank y'all so much for the love. So I love that song too. I give myself away. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Wow, thank you, Dan and Joe. Y'all so welcome. 
Y'all yeah. are very, very welcome, y'all. Appreciate y'all for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah. Awesome time, as always. You want to say something? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Everybody said, thank you, man. You're very welcome. My voice is gone. Your voice is gone. I'm singing so much. I've been singing so much for you. Yes. Yes. I got to hydrate more. Yeah, we got to hydrate. Both of us got to hydrate, yeah. y'all. I got to sing. I got a fast song that I got to sing this week, y'all. Oh, I got two fast songs I got to sing this week. And our um, musician wanted me to sing three songs. That's too much, though. I don't, I don't think I can more. sing three songs. No, I'd be doing four by myself. I'm yeah, doing. but I don't think. Thank you so you much, Donna, for the love. I don't want to do that to you. Yeah, you practice because, yeah I got to practice. It's, it's, you can't. I can't. We barely, we didn't even practice any of the songs. I'm just going in. I'm just because <laughs> Saturday we usually practice Wednesdays and Saturdays. Saturday is Fourth of July or Independence Day. We're not gonna have practice. Joe's the leader. He said, "I'm not gonna. We're not gonna do that, y'all. We're not gonna have practice on that day because nobody's gonna even come. You know who's gonna come to church and on Fourth of July to practice singing? No one's gonna do that. Some people are going out of town. Some people are cooking. Whatever else, you know, no one's coming for that. Um, so, huh." I didn't, I didn't get to get, we practiced today, well, yesterday, Wednesday, we practiced, and um, we did go to practice, but we didn't practice my songs, so I'm going to have to do a lot of studying and listening on my own and practicing, y'all, so I hope the songs come right, and like I said, sweet dreams, sweet tea, we love you, thank you for hanging out with us, get some good rest, so I got to sing some songs, I got to sing Two fast songs. So I have to go now. Guess your husband is ready for bed. Okay, well, Diana, thank you for hanging out with us. We love you too. Bless you and your husband as well. And sleep tight. Thank y'all so much for anybody, Diana. I will be doing the 5 30. 5 30 making me get last week, it, a couple weeks in a row, we needed my mom's car and she was using it and I had to go and spend some time with her. Um, so good Lord willing, I, I love when she comes to visit, but I just pray I gotta that. get up early tomorrow and go do everything. So maybe I will be able to do it then, right? You better go up early. Yeah, I'm gonna go early. I'm gonna get up early. Or she probably, if it's too hot outside, she won't want to sit outside yeah. anyway. So that way, maybe you can drop her off or something like that so I can do my live. I gotta do a live at 5 30. Um, so it's gonna be a making me. I'll be getting my background and stuff together. So we'll have some fun with me, me kind of making a nice little crafty background because I've been wanting it for a while, y'all. I've been wanting me. To have a nice little background where I sit, you know, behind my crafts when I do my videos, my finish offs. Oh, yeah. I mean, not my finish offs, my yeah. finished objects. So I'm going to be doing that, uh, sharing with some finished objects I've done. Um, I and I'm going to have my background. And I got, um, I have a little buddy that I want to bring along as well. Oh, I forgot to check on that domain, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Then I have a sell again. They do at least maybe a couple times a month for that sale. Yeah, it's $8 a month. So I'm gonna do it next time I have a sale again. Go ahead, it's too late. It was it ended when the shock strike clock struck so at twelve I was telling you but you was napping. So yeah, guys. Sweet dreams, good night, good night, good night for everybody who's in the second. Are you ready ready? You ready to hit the second number? Okay, guys. So I'm going to for those who are just coming in, this is what I was working on. This grading square for this crochet bag. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tutorial filmed out. Y'all can see exactly what this is going to be. And for those who want to make it, y'all can do it. Yes. Uh, tomorrow is going to, well, not tomorrow, but later today, because it's Thursday. Consider it Thursday, Friday, Thursday, 530 Eastern time. I will be doing live making meat. So bring your crafts, um, bring some fun, um, and we'll be crafting online. I'll probably be working on something with this cotton, guys. I've been whipping up, excuse me, I'm whipping up stuff with cotton. So I will be probably making... I want to make a sun hat. I think I want to do a sun hat with my cotton. I've never done a sun hat before, so I want something my daughter can model. You know, she has some cute little twist in. She'll probably look cute in that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and film this tutorial right quick um, and upload another video. i got a couple videos that need to be uploaded. I think it's going to be a food video. I'm going to upload the food video. Then I have an unboxing, and then I have a couple more unboxings I have to do, too. So um, thank you all so much for hanging out with us, baby. You want to say good night? Good night, everybody. We appreciate you all. Another awesome night, y'all. We love you all. And thank y'all so much for just being supporting. Thank y'all for those who got to see the video tutorials. Um, and even if you just didn't fully watch it, if you just got to hit the thumbs up and just say hey on the comments, it means everything to us. Everything that y'all do means everything to y'all. Y'all are us. Y'all are everything to us. So this we are family, y'all. So I love y'all so much. And for everybody who's here, thank y'all for watching. Everybody who's watching the replay, thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for coming back because you don't have to do that. So.
when you take the time to spend with us, we appreciate you. And you know, we'll be sitting at y'all videos coming in and hitting the thumbs up, commenting, and all that good stuff. So we'll be around. Y'all see us. So thank y'all. Everybody who's saying good night. We love, love you all. Good night. God bless. Sleep tight. He said, Could you please explain how to get on the stream yard? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you want me to say right now? You're trying to, or you want me to do like a video, or you want me to tell you right now, Barbara? Let me know. I can do a video right quick and upload it, or do you want me to do, um, like tell you right now, or you want to see it visually? Or I'll do a quick video. I definitely can do that. Good night, everybody. Good night. Love you all. I'm just waiting to see what Barbara would like me to do because it's probably easier to show it. And I can just record with my phone on her uh, computer. Good night, Gracie. I didn't know you were here. Thank you so much. Good night. Everybody, good night. I'm going to be doing this. I think the computer's charged. Yep, the computer's plugged up and everything. Yes, Google stress. Stay safe. Yes, good night. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, you should do a video. Lots of people. Okay, sounds good. I will do that. A video would be nice. Sounds great, great, great. Because now you can do it on your phone, too. So I'll probably... Okay, screen record. But it's the same thing. So if I show it on the computer, you can get the gist of it with your phone. Okay, so yeah. That's what I'm going to do then, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get a video filmed up so people can know exactly what to do because it's really easy. Good night, Brian and Karen. Good night. We love y'all so much. Y'all are super amazing. Thank y'all so much for the love and all the support, everything that y'all do. I'm just going to get a quick little video uploaded for those who would like to do the stream yard. Very, very easy, fun program. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a video uploaded. Okay, everybody's going to, yes, I could get it. Okay, you could get it. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm, you couldn't get in there. Okay, that's what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. You know what? You're trying to get to OVWs. You got to hit the thing. You got to hit the link. Oh. Mm. Um, what I need to do is really, if I was to go live right now, doing it and let Barbara click in so she can learn how to do it right now, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, and then I can do another video for somebody who wants to do their own. Okay, so should I do that real quick? Yeah. Okay, Barbara, I need let me know if you're still here. Let me know something, Barbara, because I wanna I'm gonna go live using StreamYard right now and we're gonna work this out. So that way you can get it. So let me know if you're here. Good night. Sheila, good night. Everybody who's going to sleep. Sleep tight, y'all. We love you all. Good night. Be blessed. Sleep tight, everybody. Get some good rest. Okay, one second. I'm just going to see what happened with you. Good night, Helen. Thank you so much for being here. Because I can put this on my lap and do it anyways. I'm sorry. Right. We still got to move everything out of the way. So we I'll make, make it move, move everything out of the way. And then we'll... Okay, Barbara's still here. Okay. Sean, I need you to get my camera. Is my camera back here? Yes, ma'am. Get my camera right quick. It's right here on the side of the couch. Get my web camera right quick. Because I'm going to do this for Barbara right there. Barbara? Yep. I'm about to go do a stream yard so Barbara can come in and she can figure out how to get this done. You said you Huh? You said our webcam. Yeah, webcam right here on the side of the cover. The green seal box. Okay, Barbara. Okay, well, I'm about to go live on StreamYard, okay, Barbara? Oh, did you have to exit out of here? Okay, I'm, I'm just letting her know that now. I'm going to get it started so I can know. Okay, I'm about to end this live, Barbara, okay? But I'm about to come right back live in like a few seconds. So, just keep on staying on YouTube and keep on coming back to Creatively Creative Crochet, Triple C and Joe Show. And then you'll be able to see exactly what, how to get in. We'll work on it. Um, I'll put a link up. I'll, I'll walk you through it as I get in here. So um, just meet me right back here in the probably about a minute. So I'll be right back. Love you all. Thanks again for everybody who's here. If anybody else wants to learn how to get StreamYard, how to click into somebody's link, you're more than welcome to come in too. So I love you guys. Good night. Sleep tight. Be blessed. Bye. Have a blessed night.